Hello. Hello, hello. Background noise thinking for the fire dollars. Spit that out of work and how the day so she could be out cold or they come by right back. I'm okay! I'm okay. Although I put a disclaimer up, because it is a little it is a little sore. It is a little sore. I'm grateful though. I'm grateful. I had a root canal, but it was on the side of my mouth that doesn't hurt as bad to get like injections and stuff. I'm very I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> for some reason it hurts like ten times more. Okay, okay, like like okay, not exaggerating. It probably hurts like three and a half times more to get a shot on like the right hand side of my mouth versus the left hand side of my mouth. I don't know why. I don't know why. It just hurts so much more. David and come be For love. He's back and better than ever. I don't know about better than ever, but yeah, I got a root canal and I gotta go back oh god, it's already starting to feel weird. <laughs> I got a root canal and I gotta go back in a, in a little while. In a little while. TM. To go get a crown to put on it. So I'm dancing on Big Big So remember, kids. Save yourselves thousands of dollars in dental appointments. By brushing your teeth. <laughs> when you're... When you're young and... And <laughs> depressed, your mindset is, I'm not gonna live that long anyways. And people are like, life is short. Well, if life is short, then why should I take care of myself? I'm just gonna die anyways. But, you are young. I am still young, relatively. So, yeah, go brush your teeth. Go brush your teeth. Right now, right now, hold on. I'll share my, I'll share my, my dental hygiene plan with you guys. Um... How do I explain this? So first step... Hold on. Let me... Let me write this out. Let me write this out. Ah, Where is that? It's right here. There we go. Hold on. Let me give it a background. <laughs> let me give it a background. Okay. Okay. Dental hygiene with... Peppa. Let's remove this for a second. Okay. Dental hygiene with Pippa. I'm gonna teach you guys how I how I do my dental routine now. Hashtag dentist approved. One in one dentist approved, because I only have my one dentist now. Uh Matt dealing with doors. Oh hi Pippa, I knew you'd be here. I never doubted it. I, I don't say I did. I don't say it. Oh, okay, CJ Hotel Dealing with Dolores. Ouch, root canal sounds rough. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible. Uh honestly, um the thing about root canals is I feel like they hurt more. Like, later? Compared to like... Some fillings are fucking excruciating while they're actually happening. Right? But they don't feel as bad later. Whereas with the root canals, it's like... That shit... That shit takes a while to heal. Comrade Muffet, thank you for noise. Turn 21 today! Ordered my own drink for the first time! Hope your teeth feel better and brush your day! Thank you, thank you! Happy birthday! Congratulations on turning 21! It's the best amount of rolling. Dolores, remember to find a good dental plan. I just pay in cash. Rabbit, thank you for coming back to me. Peppa only uses Colrus branded Colgate toothbrush. No, 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 no. Uh, Agamotto, thank you for Dolores. We're in Face Connect Human Centipede. Would you... What the fuck? I don't want to be Human Centipede. Uh, thank you for anything, Dolores. I'm not convinced Pippa is a government psyop to get people to clean their rooms and take care of themselves. Okay, okay, let me teach you guys. So, the first thing I do... The first thing I do... As I use Sensodyne toothpaste. Now, I don't actually know what makes this different from regular toothpaste. But, I found when I use like, regular toothpaste. It makes, it makes my teeth hurt. It makes my teeth hurt. Hold on, I'll show you guys the Sensodyne. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, Sensodyne does not make my teeth hurt later. It doesn't make my teeth feel as clean as, like, some other toothpaste. But it makes them not hurt. It looks like this. It looks like this. I really recommend if, you're, if your uh, mouth hurts after you brush your teeth, you should get Sensodyne. Okay. Step two. Uh, floss. Physical. Strength. Sh strength. So then, I have these little, I have these little, um, these little floss sticks that I got from the dentist, which I will not be able to use actually now. Um, I got, I got switched to like regular string tooth, 
uh, 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 dental floss for a little bit because I have to like pull through the root canal tooth that pull up because pulling up can potentially make the temporary crown pop off. I got a raid? Who raided? Who raided? Uh, hello and rise, I think with 333. I took this long to realize the weird noise I was hearing while hyper focusing was not in fact white noise, but the yeah, talking! Here's some money to support your hygiene upkeep. Also, uh, hoping you're streaming on my birthday next coming week. Well, hopefully. Ningo, thank you! Ningo, thank you! Kiersha raid! What the fuck? Kiersha raid! Hello, Kiersha! Weren't you streaming on Twitch earlier? What the fuck? Look, boy, thanks for doors. I am here for Pippa's poor hygiene justification stream. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you guys about hygiene. I'm gonna check them to Lars White Fox Ray. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, not four. Three! Dead! Dead! I use water pick. I just... I, I used water pick alone before. But then the dentist was like, you really should also use regular... Regular floss. Uh, for those of you who don't know what water pick is, it's like this, um... Hold on, I'll bring up a video. It's... it's this dental floss kind of machine, but it uses water. So if you're anxious about, like, the dental floss getting stuck in your teeth, it's like a good starting point. Um... Hold on. Fucking ominous-ass music. Ah! I didn't think this through. Um, this is not the one that I have. Mine is, like, a bulky-ass thing that sits on the... That sits on the counter. This one's weird. But see, it's like it's like a pressure washer. It's a pressure washer for your teeth. Emma! Hello! You you sprayed this in your eye? What the fuck? What the fuck? How did you accomplish that? How did you accomplish that? Yeah, you look really goofy using it, but it's okay. The demons in the mirror don't care. Alright? The demons in the mirror would just want you to be healthy. Yeah. Yeah. One minute a day, it takes me longer than a minute, but I'm slow. Okay, so... Water pick. Water pick. I'll put it in bra brackets. Water flush. Okay? Cause then that kinda like, that kinda like also like pressure washes on top of like the regular floss. You know? Then... I use... Not alcohol. Um... Mouthwash. Oh god. I don't know why my brain was defaulting to fucking uh, isopropyl alcohol. I do not I do not rinse my mouth with isopropyl alcohol. Okay, mouthwash. <laughs> I got um I invested okay, okay, if you're like me and you're getting like the 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 fucking um cheap ass fucking mouthwash. The kind that it's like it's like fucking like a buck fifty at like Walgreens, you know like that shit? I'm gonna blow your guys' mind, but if you guys buy, like, the more expensive mouthwash, it doesn't hurt as much. There's, like, there's, like, the nicer mouthwash does not burn like a motherfucker. And does not leave your mouth tasting like alcohol. It is, it is worth it. It is a worthwhile expense if you also cannot stand the burning sensation. Especially because, like, when you're brushing your teeth before bed, you don't, you don't want to be, like, shocked back to wake, back, back, back awake, you know? You don't want to be shocked back awake. You want to just go the fuck to sleep. But every time, every time I use that old mouthwash, it would like fry my fucking brain because that shit was so potent. And it's like, it was like burning my gums and shit. Ugh. Ah. So get the, get the nice mouthwash. It still has like cleaning properties and stuff. It's just... Not 99.9% .9 alcohol. Okay. Fifth step. Then, I have, like, this prescription, um... I forget what it's called. Oh, fuck. I should've just grabbed the little thing. I have, like, this prescription... Prescript? Prescription. Prescription! Uh... Toothpaste. And this is, like... This is, like... I don't know. It's, like, repairing shit. I don't know. I don't know. But I do that, and that just... That just stays on. That just stays on. Detriment for your gums. Nice see you, Shut up. Um. Isn't that weird? Don't you guys also say prescription? Like, I would say prescription medication. I would not say prescription medication. Prescription. Not prescription. That sounds weird. Chad, do you say prescription or prescription? 
Prescription. You're so weird. You're so weird. What the fuck? Purr. Yeah, purr. No, we're not ESL. I think the only people that say prescription are like British people. Hold on. Start a poll. I'm gonna make a poll. Purr. Prescription. Pre. Prescription. Hold on. How do you say it? Not which is correct spelling. Okay. Okay, I want to know. I want to know. You say prescription. What the fuck? My doctor says purr. How many Americans say February instead of February? What do you mean? Oh, February. Nobody says February. Nobody says that. You only say February. You don't say February. That's weird. That doesn't that doesn't make no sense. Grab that thing on baby. Put on the tinfoil hat she went for Fortnite Ark! Wednesday. Yeah, if you say Wednesday, you're dumb. It's just not pronounced that. How do you say Arkansas? Arkansas. Wednesday. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. February. <laughs> February. Jack Crowling, the Norse people, we all know you have British teeth and this is all cope to try and hide the fact that you have more fingers on one foot than you do teeth and left in your mouth. Shut up! Mr. Yard, I think it was 1333. Proud of you for becoming the Chip Skylark sc strongest soldier. Thank you. Soldier boy thing, Lenore, honestly makes sense to pronounce it the British way since you have British teeth. What do you mean? I pronounce it the American way! JC thing, Lenore, do you say pillow or pillow? I say pillow. Uh, Permanent thing, Do you say data or data? I'm con I'm curious. I say data when I'm talking about data, and I talk about data. Or I say data when I'm talking about like Digimon Data Squad. Lupin, 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 Lupin thing, baby. Congrats on getting your teeth fixed, Pippa. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Zapalachity. No, I don't. Chad is savage. Chad is mean. Chad is so mean. I say coyote. Coyote. Pretty on these thing with the two dollars. February and prescription. Prescription? Not even putting an R in there? What the fuck? You're not even putting an R in there! What do you mean prescription? Prescription? There's no R in that! Mega noise eight hundred dollars, but all the new teeth be gold are platinum. They'll be normal. My ghost is eight hundred dollars. You say the British way, the correct way, like in Canada? No. Rosa Takanashi, Rosa Takanashi, thank you for Lord. Arkansas existed long before Kansas did, so everyone from Kansas mispronounces it. Oh, Fleming TP, thing with the 350, 350, or 350? Oh my god. English and French in a nutshell. How do you pronounce aluminum? Aluminum. Did you guys know it's pronounced aluminum because of a misspelling in, in newspapers? Like, I guess, I guess it was misspelled in a newspaper fucking once, and then everybody was like, okay. That's how it's said. Aluminum. And I'm not gonna be the dipshit that walks around saying aluminium. It'd be silly. Yeah, grab some aluminium from the cabinet, dear. Put it on my... Uh, what are they called? Scone! Put it on my... Gravair with scone. Everything can be... When you're broke and get the generic, that's prescription. Jack Crowley from the... Oh, wait. I'm the kind of person to say it's Tuesday in it. No. No. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna be Coyote, also lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. Aluminium. I'm in trouble with the library. Library? What the fuck? Library. Library. Original dad, then come to be. Why do you have aluminium in your cabinet? Is that not what the foil shit is? Wait, no, I think that's tin. JP they can come pick me. Colorist would def definitely say aluminium, but it'd be cute when he says it. Copacetic, they were also now you know that is based on is based on New York, so he would pronounce it the American way. <gasps> Do you guys say pronounce or pronounce? I feel like pronunciation sounds correct over pronunciation, but pronounce sounds more cr correct than pronounce, you know? Copacetic game of Both are acceptable, probably based on region per Oxford, prescription, and prescription. You know what I mean? Uh, Dr. Binksy thing the I've worked in a pharmacy for 10 years and it's prescription. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, pharmacist. I definitely believe your credentials. 
Eat cat and the dollars in time I get that alert tip out. It's more tragic than Prowl and uh, Prowls and Ironhide's death in Transformers the movie 1986. If a hygiene state for the assault, not ESL! You pronounce the word depending on if it's a noun or a verb. Now, Zara thing with two dollars. Say Worcestershire. Worcestershire. No, the Merkel Hopper say or thing with two dollars. Pippa, quick spell I cup. No, I got tricked with this in elementary school and it'll never happen again. Super dog thing with five dollars. It was aluminium. Oh, aluminum at first. The newspaper spelled it aluminium because they thought it was wrong. It was always aluminum first and the birds are wrong. <gasps> nice. Like a noise, Angel Dolores. Pippa's first proper diction stream. Shut up. That's a German thing, Pippa. Pixie Mesa, thank you for News just in. Pronunciation tangent raises $10,000 for Ariel Rabbit. The Fox, thank you for Regional dialects just make English wacky. Must have been hard learning it. You know what's a fucked up word? Icicle. Fucking hate that word. A bullshit word. Why? Okay, I'm sorry, this is the stupidest tangent I'll ever go on. But you write- let me write out the word icicle for you guys. Let me write out- look, look at this. What part of that bitch says icicle? How- what the- what the fuck do you mean icicle? That's icicle! That's not icicle, you bitch! <laughs> That's icicle! Fucking hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate English. <laughs> Icicle was my mortal enemy in kindergarten. I remember, chat, we had these little books in kindergarten. And when you when you read all the words in the book correctly, you got to take it home with you. And I got stuck at the fucking eye book. Because of fucking Icicle. I was like, Icicle? And they're like, uh, very close, let's sound it out. Ah, uh, I kickle? Nope, nope. I say. Oh, Icicle. Oh, very nice, Pippa. All right, we'll try it again tomorrow and see if you remember. And I, I was so mad. I was so mad. Because I was flying through this shit, man. I was flying through this shit. I remember I was memorizing every single book, like, instantly. I was ahead of the pack, all right? All the other kids were struggling to read, and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> fucking icicle book, man. Fucking, fucking the letter I words book. Fucking bullshit. God damn. Pippa's villain arc! My villain arc in elementary school. Almost in middle school. <laughs> zebra. Zebra. Or if you're stupid, you'll say zebra. Yes, I'll cope. Icicle is a psyop! <laughs> oh, Don Phoenix. Oh, God. Nah, we have these little books, man. We have these little books. Middle school. No, not middle school. Zebra. It's dumb. It's dumb, isn't it? My ghost is in the door. Some places call hoodies bunny hugs. You guys call it... Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh my god. We're already 27 minutes into stream. Oh wait, no. Only 20 minutes because I was late. Zero thing in the door. Say nuclear. Nuclear. Okay, one more. One more. One more word problem. Z Jack thing in the door. Is it milk or milk? Milk or milk? It's milk. Okay, okay. Okay, is it soda? Pop? Coke? Or... Oh god, wait, there's so many variations on this. There's so many variations. Some people, yeah, some people call it fizzy. There's not enough room for all the options. Depends on the context. I think it depends on the context, right? I think it depends on the context. I would never say fizzy. I would feel like a fucking... Uh... Like... 18th century... Fucking... New England child. Who... Fucking... Wait, when was the Industrial Revolution? That was like... Was it 19th century? No, that was 18th century, right? That was 18th Because it was like the 1700s. Right? Fuck, I don't remember. Oh, it was 19th century? Oh, it was 1890? No, I don't think so. I think it was 1700s. I think it was... I think it was 18th century. 19th century? Is it 1800s? I'm gonna fucking Google it. London... Industrial... 
Revolution. We're learning shit today, chat. Okay, when was this? 1700! That was right! Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, I will never listen to you fuckers ever again. I had it right. All of you saying 1800, you're stupid. Close to 1900s where it was manufacturable. Wrong! 1700s. That's 18th century. Durand is thinking for the $2, I say wash, not wash. Worcestershire sauce. Why did you listen to start? I don't know. I don't know. These tangents are the best. These tangents are so dumb. Okay, yeah. 69% of people say soda. Okay, I think it's... You say soda? When it's like you're talking about like a generic soda, right? Like, hold on. Let me open up this soda. Hold on. I'm in... I'm in... Oh. I'm in... I'm in... I'm an 18th century child. Beeping for a beeping beeping for a a a, a sissy. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyways. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tony Stark never mind the large chat outing themselves with a bunch of New Englanders and Californians, only places that say soda per surveys. Now, I listen, I'm not from California and I'm not from New England and I say soda. Soda is just the accepted generic word. Okay. Ah. <sighs> ah. It's pop? No. No. Grandma Ken said pop, and she was wrong. FC players ain't gonna big pee It was a slur and more scout, probably. So, your teeth. It's okay, I use a straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is not specific. Dig it in, go thing. The lawyers, the C being used in an. What? C being used as an S in English can be blamed on the French influence. Fuck those guys. Originally, the C only made the K sound. They had a radio thing with the $10 starting. Listen, listen, if we just got rid of the letter K and replace it with C, and you only needed one C in a word, we could abolish the KKK. Potato Radio thing didn't know. It started water-driven machinery in 1750s-ish, really kicked off with the advent of the steam allowing non-river-based cities, 1860s-ish. <laughs> Genius, thank you. <laughs> Quite a thing for dollars, your Morse code is almost as bad as your English. Special sauce I think in the words I would say soda pop because my parents were from different sides of the country. Dad said soda, mom said pop. Mm. Uh Jack Curling but the correct term for soda is busy was a fruity juice. What the fuck? Okay, anyways. So So Soda is like the generic word, right? If I go on Amazon.com and I type in soda it's gonna bring up soda, right? Wait, it, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's see, when I type in, I'm not gonna show Amazon on screen because that's like, that's like just asking for fucking trouble. But like, hold on. But when I type in Coke, what's it gonna bring up, chat? It's gonna bring up, it brings up Coca-Cola, RC Cola. It brings up Coca-Cola and RC Cola, okay? When I type in pop, it brings up mini push pop bubble fidget toy keychain bubble pop desk toy fidget keychain relieve anxiety. All of them. Funko Pops? Fucking. It's a bunch of anxiety toys and Funko Pops. Okay? Now, when I type in. When I type in fizzy. It brings up fizzy water! Oh wait. Yeah, fizzy water and soda can fizzy candy. But when I type in... Soda? This is an experiment. This is an experiment you can take home. You can do it yourself, chat, right now. This is an at-home science experiment. Do it. Do it right now. When you type in soda, Mountain Dew. Soda Stream Pepsi. Sun-kissed orange soda. Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. Don't drink that, by the way. It's gross. Pepsi, wild cherry. Mug root beer. Sprite mini. It's an at-home experiment. Ah, my microphone popped off. Hold on. Give me a second. God damn it. 
Amazon is wrong? No. Pippa has Funkos confirmed. I have a few Jurassic Park Funkos. Yes, what about it? They're very cute. They're very cute. Someday I would like to maybe paint little eyeballs on them. So they don't just have like a blank stare. But yes, I love my Jurassic Pop Funko Pops. I have a... I have a Velociraptor. I have a Giganotosaurus. I have some fucking other ones. Yeah, they're cute. They're cute. I don't... I don't regret it. I don't fucking regret it. What? My cute-ass dinosaur Funko Pops. Skylighting with my doors, but I'm at work, not at home. Well, if you can watch me, you can... You can go on Amazon and you can... You can do the little... You can do the little experiment, all right? As long as they're not humanoid, they're not humanoid. I used to have some Harley Quinn ones my parents gave me. I don't know where they went. Fugu they until when he's passionate about effervescent candy water. Effervescent. You know, I read that fucking word in a book. Like... Last month. And I was like... What the fuck is that? And now I see it. Isn't that crazy how that happens? It t sure, it took a month for me to see somebody use it. Other than that book. But like... Now I feel accomplished. Is there a thing gonna be? You living rabbit Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream is great. No, it's not. Uh, kill more than door. Show us the dinos, yabbit. I, I thought I posted them on Twitter before. What about U2s? I think some of the U2s are really cute. I think some of the U2s are really cute, actually. I wanted to pick up, like, their Cult of the Lamb ones. But then I was like, wait, they're making- they're making so many of these. I don't know which one to pick, and then I just never bought any. <laughs> this is amazing for dogs, Pippa. You've grown a lot over time. I've been watching you. It's always been great to see. I just wanted to say you should try ginger ale again. No. Sideways and dogs, my bunny. Oh, she's a filthy pink fungo woman. No, I just have some dinosaur fungo pops. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They're very cute. They're very cute. Okay, anyways. I came here to talk about hygiene. Should we get some fun little music going? Did anybody recognize the music in the background? It's too late, I'm turning it off. Only those who know, know. Did anybody, did anybody recognize it? Let's get some, let's get some... Oh, come on, what was it? That's right, devilish boredom! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Here we go, diamond and pearl. Yay! What the fuck? Oh, this is only official Pokemon channel. That's interesting. Ah. Ah. Blood and makeup. Let's talk about the good old days. Dangerous beauty, hazardous chemicals and poisons in historic cosmetics. The modern day cosmetic market is vast, with many people following beauty regimes to some degree every single day. This is nothing new, with evidence of embellished looks seen in the dip Egypt <laughs> Egyptian drawings and referenced in the works of Roman philosophers. But throughout history, the search for beauty has come with risks. As far back as in ancient Egypt, the iconic heavy-lined eye look was achieved with coal, a black powder made from galena, a mineral form of lead sulfide. Here's a bronze coal stick. Louder? Is it too loud? Is this better? On on my thing, it shows that it's very quiet. So that's better. Okay. Audio balancing is a nightmare. It's like all the guides are like, oh, just put it within the, put it just below, put audio, just put background music just below the green. And put your talking in the yellow. And it's like, okay, and then you do that, and people are like, Why is the background music louder than you're talking? And it's like... I don't, I don't know. I followed the guide. Crazy Red Thing with the $20 doodles! Went to the dentist for the first time in five years last week! Only that one cavity! Hell yeah! We're just getting fixed tomorrow! Just wanna say thanks, Pippa, for giving me the kick I needed. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud of you. One cavity in five years? That's really good. That's really good. And you're dealing with it right away. I'm really proud of you. Mm. Um... Throughout history, lead has been a key ingredient in cosmetics, which seems shocking given what we, given what we know about the risk posed by high levels of lead to the human body. Queen Elizabeth I's famously pale complexion was achieved with Venetian ceruse, a white lead-based makeup which is thought to be possible... to be a possible cause of her death. Lead was also present in many other cosmetics, with some rouge recipes in the Elizabethan era calling for colored dyes added to a white lead base. 
White lead-based makeup is thought to have been used as far back as 3500 BC, and despite being classified as a poison in the UK since 1631, the, in the West, it was continued to be applied to faces for centuries, persisting until the Victorian preference for natural beauty pushed the style out of fashion. While many makeup products continue to use lead-based paints, they were mostly replaced by the safer alternatives of pearl white and talc by the early 1900s. That's so fucked up! It wasn't even like, this is killing people, we should stop. It was... Uh, actually... Actually, I prefer to be a natural beauty, unlike these other whores. <laughs> Not like other girls, I have a natural look to me. I don't use lead-based ba lead uh, fucking foundation. Oh wow, me neither! I'm not like other girls too! That's so fucked up. <laughs> Why say anything about those? Guys, don't account for compression. You maxed out your compression to stop your yelling from killing us all at some point, so that's not an issue for you. Ah. Pippa wears makeup? I do not. Actually, chat! I do not know how to do makeup. I painted my nails once, and my parents made fun of me, and so I never did it again. Is there anything about the People freak out about microplastics, but I think about all the lead and asbestos and our ancestors consumed, and I think we're gonna be alright. I think we're gonna be alright. Seriously? Seriously. Sleepy gave me a makeup palette, and I was like... I'm gonna use this. And then I did not use this. I'm sorry, Sleepy, I'll give you the brush back. I don't know where it is. I'll give you the brush back, Sleepy, when I find it! Sideways thing from Fight Dollars, I've decided to work out and get more fit, starting with belly fat, as soon as I can finally crossplay again. Thank you for giving me the push I needed, Pippa. Hell yeah! I'm proud of you. Palette. Palette! Palette! Yeah. Don't have Sleepy do your makeup. That's awkward. I've thought about going to, like... There's, like, makeup stores, right? So I thought about going to one of those, because they offer, like... They'll, like, do your makeup for you. You just have to pay. So I was thinking what I could do is I could just go and I could be like, I just want, like, a like a very easy, like, natural look. Right? And then I'll just copy what they do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I just gotta... I just gotta go do it. And I just gotta... I just gotta go trust a stranger to touch my face. That isn't a dentist. Why would it be awkward? Girls love doing each other's makeup. I don't know, because I've never had my makeup done. I don't know. I had my hair done as a child. <gasps> I got my hair cut like a month ago. Wait, was that more than a month ago? I don't know. Alexander, thank you for the five dollars. Hey, Pippa, I've been suffering from plantar... facetus on my feet. As an expert on feet, what's the best course of treatment you'd recommend? I don't know what that is. Go to a doctor. Yeah, they cut off all my dead ends and stuff. It was crazy. It was crazy. And then they sold me soap. And now I, I continue to use that soap. I actually had to buy more soap recently. Is it okay to call it soap when it's for your head? No, I think I'm BB. Sleepy does Pippa's makeup off collab. Jesus Christ. Soap is tasty. No? Yes? Well, because it's like shampoo and it's conditioner, but they didn't have the conditioner originally. They just had like a leave in. Okay, hold on. I'm going to teach you guys. Hold on. Let's discuss. Let's discuss shower routine. My shower routine? Hold on. Where's... Where'd my text box go? No, oh, fuck. I fucking lost it. I lost my text box! Icicle. There we go. <laughs> okay! You shower? Sometimes. Shower. Routine. Okay. The first, like, three minutes. Let that shit heat up. It's fucking cold. My hot water heater only lasts, like... How long does that last? Like... I think it lasts, like, 15 minutes? Which sucks! Which sucks is bullshit! I like long, hot showers. Fugu thing with a $2. Learned how to do Banba Gyaru makeup for the flex. What the fuck? And then that thing with a 200... However, what that, whatever that is. Kind of funny, I just woke up from dreaming about you and now you're live on stream. Oh, by the way, the dream was about you and your ring getting busted and canceled. Don't ask me because I forgot most of it. My ring? My wedding ring, the colorist? Okay, anyways. Then... Shampoo. 
Grape Clips brand. Light red. Okay. The, not pink. Not pink. I don't know if there's a pink one. But... I use... I use the light red bottle of Grape Clips shampoo. To start off with. Okay. Then... Wash that out. Then... Shampoo. Times two. Great Clips brand. Eh. Darker. Darker red. It's a different bottle. It's a different bottle. This one's like darker red. Okay. Then. Wash self. Uh, I like to use Bath and Body Works. Any. Slash gingham. I like the gingham one. It's pretty. Like the color is pretty. Also, it smells good. It's like covering up chat box. Okay. And you gotta you gotta use like a loofah and you gotta you gotta you gotta scrub all of you, okay? You can't miss any spots, alright? Even your feet. Even though it tickles and it's uncomfortable and I feel like I'm gonna trip and die. The sacrifice you have to make. I think I might buy like a like one of those little granny stools or something for the shower. <laughs> just so I don't fucking trip and die when I'm trying to wash my goddamn feet. Sometimes. Sometimes I just like... I just grab my shampoo bottles and stuff and I, I sit at the bottom of the shower and I just... I just do all of it like sitting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda makes me feel like a toddler though, so I don't really do that too often. Except for when I'm really tired. Okay, anyways. Okay. Rinse. Self. And hair. Okay. Then! Conditioner! Great Clips brand! Darker red! I use the darker red one. I don't know if I should be using the dark red one or the light red one. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't really remember the instructions she told me. I had to buy like the second... She was like, oh, you're gonna need... You're gonna need the light red bottle. And then there's like another one you're gonna need. And this is gonna be like your second shampoo. And, um... I was like, okay. Okay. I don't remember exactly what she said. So, I went on Amazon and I... Like... Weeks later. And I got... And I, I got I got the dark red bottles. Is... I think that was right. I don't know. Wait, two shampoo bottles? I, I don't know. Second shampoo? Someone got upsold. I don't fucking know, chat. I don't know about this shit, alright? I'm just doing what the lady told me to do, alright? I don't care if I got scammed, alright? At least I didn't care myself! Okay! Wait, no, don't rinse it out. Don't rinse it out. Um, face wash. I've heard you're not supposed to do this, but it's so fucking convenient that I refuse not to. Oh, fuck. What face wash thing do I use? Oh, God. It's like a blue bottle. Hold on. Hold on. Um, a face wash. Blue. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, what is this called? It's like a- it's like- it's like- it's like, it's like blue! With like- I think like a black cap? Blue? Black cap? Oh fuck. Is the cap black? I don't know. Hold on. Face wash. I think it's for like oily skin? Bros, I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna be right back! I'm gonna- I'm gonna be right back! I want- I want to know! I want to know! This is- this is... Unmute the ducks. The ducks? What? Be right back! It's a white cap. No wonder I couldn't find it. Okay. No wonder my searches were for nothing. Okay, it's called, um... La... Roche... 
Você Essa Clar Okay And I like use like I use like a um Oh fuck Um What are they called? One of those like little spinny things It's like I'm it's like I'm polishing my face with it I use one of those Do you guys know what those are called? Hold on Face scrubber It like it like spins Hold on I don't remember the name of mine. Like a sander. Yeah. It's got little bristles on it and stuff. Hold on. Hey! There we go. Hold on. I got a, I got a picture. I got a picture. From Amazon. This is not mine. But it's like one of these, right? And it's like you polish your face. Right? Scrub, exfoliate. Is it uncomfortable? It tickles. Do not put the rocher on your... F Why? Is that not what it's for? Yeah, cleanser for oily skin. It's for it's for oily skin. My shit is oily. Okay. Then. Then. This is why I don't like showering. Because I feel like if I don't do this stuff in the shower, then I like wasted my shower, right? And then I just end up not showering enough. Okay. Wash that off. Face wash. With face sander. Okay. Um. Um. Then. Uh, then. I use. I do not use the. I do not use a face sander for this. It's the. Uh, it's Sarah. The hydrating facial cleanser, which feels ironic to use after using the thing for the oily skin. It's like. Does hydrating it not make it oily? I don't know. What is all this, Pippa? It's like all the stuff the fucking guides and stuff told me to do. I know. I <laughs> Some of this is Dizzy's recommendations, alright? Um. Green bottle. Rub into face. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Then! Wash that off. But the nice part when you do this stuff in the shower is you can do it to like your neck and like your chest and your shoulders and stuff without like, without like getting like your shirt wet because you're not wearing a shirt because you're in the shower. Unless you wear a shirt in the shower, but then it's already going to be wet because you're standing underneath the shower head. But anyways, so I don't know. There's like the people, they say you shouldn't wash your face in the shower, but like it's convenient. So fuck you. All right. If I have to do all this shit, I'm at least going to make it convenient. Okay. Anyways. Wash that up. Then! Then. Then it's time for... After shower. <laughs> okay, dry hair a bit. Um... Tower. I, I, don't, I don't use... I don't use hair dryers. They're too noisy. I don't like it. It's like putting a vacuum in your ear. Why would you... Not that you should put like a fucking hair dryer in your ear. But like... Zoom out. Oh, is it cutting off? Wait, it's like cutting off. What the fuck? I don't know how to make it not cut off, chat. Oh no. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Um. But anyways, anyways, um, I, I don't like hair dryers. I, they're, they're very upsetting. Okay, so anyways. Dry, dry hair with towel. Then. Hair. Hold on. Dry hair conditioner. Great clips. Light red. That's that's the one they sold me in the store. I don't know if I should be using two hair conditioners. But I it's working. It's working question mark. Question mark. And you just leave that one in. You just leave that one in. You don't need that. Oh, I forgot to... Hold on. Hold on. Wash that off plus rinse hair. And we'll leave in hair conditioner. There we go. Dry clips on my eyes! Shut up! There's dry conditioner. Yeah, it, it smells so fucking good, bros. It smells like watermelon. I want to eat it. I should have a great clip sponsor. I really should. Okay. Um. Then... 
Sarah V. AM or PM? Leave on face thing. Face lotion. There we go. It's called lotion. Fuck. Okay. Oh. There we go. So yeah, I don't like showering or doing like hygiene. It's kind of stupid to be honest. I don't like it. I don't like it. People are like, people are like, clean, clean underneath your fingernails. But why would I clean underneath my fingernails? When like, if you just wash your hair, like it accomplishes the same thing. Right? Just get wet and use soap. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty nails. Just... Just wash your hair. Just wash your hair. Girl, just take a shower. But this is like... This is like you're only supposed to do this like every two days, right? You're only supposed to do this like every two days. Except for all the skin stuff. You're supposed to do that daily. I do it maybe like once a week. And I shower maybe like... I, I shower at least once a week now. I would like to say, I shower at least once a week now. Because I have shit to do, unfortunately. And I do not like to smell like shit. Not like literal shit. I don't think I smell, I don't think I smell like literal shit. Like some of the fucking, some of the fucking people that I've seen, but. Oh, it was covering up that. Ah. Yeah. At least once a week. I, I shower at least once a week. At least. Sometimes more! Sometimes like... Three or four times. Sh showering is like jeans. You don't need to wash them every time, you know? Right? Okay, anyways. That's what we're gonna find out today. That's what we're gonna find out today. Um... Let's close out of Amazon. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um, dental thing for the $5. I've always had really good dental hygiene, but I started flossing twice as often from the fear your stories inflicted upon my soul. Go to the dentist, Dad. Uh, I only brush my teeth once a day. Usually before bed. Um, I, I hear you're supposed to do it like twice a day. My dentists have not harped on me to do it twice a day. Why? Because like, that's a lot. That's... Come on. I can't even bring myself to do my full routine all the time. Alright? Uh, doing it twice a day, that's pushing it. That's fucking, that's fucking pushing it. Last thing I want to do when I first wake up is fucking stand over the goddamn sink. Doing all that shit. Hell no. No, nothing. Alright, with that. Uh, cozy way bathing can be a soap and shampoo should not be eaten. Why do they make them in different tastes? Good question. Have a great day, y'all! Four times a day. Four times a day? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. The dentist did say that I should, I should, you're far behind on supas, reading a one. I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't try to read an old one. I just, I clicked on over to my stream tab and that was the newest one. So I read it. I'm sorry. Did we narrow the the $50? Good evening, Kodeha Rosa. Glad to see you streaming as usual while taking care of yourself today. Proves severely taxing on my state and mind. But this provides some comfort. Thanks for doing what you do best. Much love uh, to you, Pink Rabbit Wife. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry today was bad, but that just means tomorrow will be better by default. He can't feel anything with the jeans and now it just scared me. What do you mean? For rolling on BB, I still don't brush my teeth. Yes, I have nightmares where my teeth fall out, but my real teeth are just fine. You should brush your teeth. You shower two times a day? What the fuck? You must be doing like hard workouts or something. Tim Timothy Jerkson, zing with five dollars. Towel warmers rule. I don't think it would matter in the summer, but I still feel much better in a cold towel. Makes bathing feel more pleasant. Towel warmers rule? Daniel Sarah, thing with dollars. Shower more. Oh, shit, you're doing good. You at one, go two. <laughs> and then that thing with the 200. Uh, man, that's a lot. I just go to my barber every three business days and get everything done. Hair what the fuck? You go to the barber every three days? I just take warm baths with bath bombs. Go to the barber every three days? What the fuck? That's gotta get so pricey. That's gotta get so pricey, dude. Okay, anyways, here's some of this. Here's some of this, um face whitening stuff. 
Until recently, it was common to create cosmetics at home rather than purchase them off the shelf. Recipe books, including cosmetics, were available from the early 1600s, and Delights for Ladies by Sir Hugh Platt is one of the earliest known household recipe books, first published in 1602. Many historical recipes contained nat natural and harmless ingredients, but there was often at least one option full of nasties. Some even encouraged mixing chemicals, which is generally a bad idea if you're not a trained chemist. A 1776 hair removal recipe in toilet of... Would, would it be like... Toila of Flora? Calls for quick lime, nitre, and... Orpiment. Which were common ingredients in historical depilatory creams. What the fuck is depilatory creams? What the fuck? Be kidding, on baby. I'll be telling the rest of the fed boys to not tackle you when we raid your neighbor's house. Okay. Hello, soothing, fed boys. You can probably get away with showering every other day, but only once a week is still too little. <laughs> Quick lime contains calcium oxide, which can cause skin burns, eye damage, and respiratory irritation. Nitre, or neither, neither? Question mark. Or potassium nitrate can cause skin, eye, and respiratory irritation, as well as emit toxic fumes if burned at too high a temperature. Uh, orpiment is the mineral form of arsenic sulfide, which is very toxic. It can emit toxic vapors, and if it comes into contact with the skin, it can cause scabbing, blistering, and sores, as well as possible hair loss. With prolonged exposure, it can even cause... Organ failure. Oh, it is pronounced neither. Okay. Uh, arsenic is a well-known poison today, but it was also found in all kinds of beauty treatments. And it is an ingredient in a nail treatment in Toila Flora, as well as being in tooth cement, cosmetic wash, and hair dye recipes in Arnold J. Cooley's 1866 book, The Toila in... Or toilet? Toil I don't know how the fuck you say this. Is it really just the toilet? The toilet and cosmetic arts in ancient and modern times. Shut up! Some off-the-shelf arsenic products were <laughs> even marketed. Toilet. It's the toilet. Is it just toilet? Is that the end? Toilet? Toilet? Toilet. Okay. Marketed as approved by doctors such as Dr. McKenzie's medicated arsenic soap or Dr. Campbell's safe arsenical complexion wafers, which were intended to be eaten! Oh, these products continue to be sold even into the 20th century. Dr. McKenzie's Arsenical Soap. You could be this beautiful, Chad, if only you rubbed arsenic on your skin. Mercury was another toxic ingredient found in many historical cosmetics. Bichloride of mercury was recommended to reduce all kinds of skin ailments in Cooley's 1866 book, including permanent discolorations of the skin, acne, and even pustular and scabby eruptions of the lips, and recommended nitrate of mercury as a treatment for chiplins. In The Ugly Girl Papers, or Hints for the Toila, an 1874 Harper's Bazaar article in ointment of nitric oxide of mercury mixed with lard was advised to be rubbed at the edges of eyelids to restore lost eyelashes. How did they come up with this shit? Like, they're just, they're just making this shit up, right? They're literally just making this shit up, right? Literally trying to kill ugly- or <laughs> Literally trying to kill women! Literally trying to kill women! Guesswork mostly? Based? Based I made it the fuck up? I literally just threw random stuff in a bottle. It is also thought that red pigmented cosmetics may have been from mercury sulfide, also known as cinnabar or vermilion. Ugly Girl's paper lists cinnabar as an ingredient to color nails. All forms of mercury are very toxic, and bichloride of mercury in particular is corrosive and can cause severe burns. So not one to help sore skin ailments. It's a wonder these recipes were recommended for such delicate areas of skin, such as the face. Homemade cold creams and lotions were a Victorian no-makeup alternative. Homemade washes or blanches have been recommended for centuries. Many of these recipes were harmless, listing simple waters scented with flowers, but the usual suspects of mercury, arsenic, and lead are frequent ingredients. Other recipes included other poisons as well as chemicals, a recipe for disaster when individuals tinker with dosages for home recipes. Hand trending for the two dollars. You think arsenic's bad? Look into the radium girls. I've heard of them. Uh, a 1776 recipe. Oh wait, there was a there was another one. Other than the radium girls, there was another one in um England where they were working with um. Oh fuck! What was it? Was it matches? They were working on making matches, and they would they would like. Yeah, they were making matchsticks, and they would, um... There was something they had to do with their mouths. They had to, like... 
hold like the matches in their mouths or something for a bit. Or there was something, there was something like involving their mouths that they had to do. And basically it would like eat away at their jaw. Like their jaw, oh, they licked it. Their jaw would just start like, like, like eating away at itself. Like it would, it would, it would disappear. Um, and the girls were not, it was all women workers. And the girls were not allowed to eat outside or anything. So they'd be, they'd be eating their food in the factory with like all of this shit in the air. So even if they weren't like liquoring, liquoring, licking anything, it would still like, they, they were still eating it. The phosphorus burns. Yeah. White phosphor. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it was. Yeah, it's so fucked up. Um, a 1776 recipe for water for the gums instructs the reader to rub their gums with hips acylated, wait, acetylated, with five or six drops of spirit of vitriol. After applying a water mix, spirit of vitriol is made of sulfuric acid, a highly corrosive substance in any dose. It is supposed to be a diluted solution, but in the 18th century, there was little regulation, and five or six drops is a dose that is open to interpretation. Why oh, is Lars? This the radium larps is calcium and kills the bone. Ugh. Ugh. Drug bottle with painted inscription for sulfuric acid. Can you just imagine having that in your home? Up, oh, up! Oh, you have a little cut on your face. You want to look more beautiful? You have acne scars? Rub some fucking uh, sulfuric acid on that shit. There you go. There you go, ugly. Deadly Nightshade, or Belladonna, contains the active chemical atropine, which can be- which is used today by optometrists in regulated doses to dilate pupils for an eye exam. However, since Roman times, the plant has been used to dilate pupils in the name of beauty. And, as the name suggests, this famous- famously poisonous plant is not an ingredient you want to misuse. Wait, that's kind of crazy that we still use it. For, like, the same thing. That's kind of crazy. I mean, they were using it, like, just for, for beauty, but, like... Anime eyes? Yeah. The Romans... The Romans wanted anime girl eyes. What the fuck? What the fuck? If it works, it works. I guess so. It has a legit use and we know the risk. That's crazy. Everything is toxic in the right dose, true? That's crazy. The Romans invented waifus. I want that. Oh my god. Even recipes with safe ingredients had risks. Many books recommending cleaning your teeth with honey. And while it does have antiseptic properties, using it as toothpaste would be a sugary disaster of tooth decay in the long term. Off-the-shelf products could be harmful too. Milk of Roses was a lotion that despite its innocent sounding name, often contained Goulard's extract or sugar of lead. What the fuck is sugar of lead? Fucking sugar of lead, chat! Fair joke will take him $5. Yes, yeah, Century Chan was real. They got the Radian Indoctrinator, a small box of full of radium soaked sheets that was meant to be tucked under your ball sack. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I'll look that up because that sounds fucking weird. Daniel Sierra thing went to One could say they were men of culture. Ha ha ha. David Argon thing gonna be lead acetate. Powdered lead? What acetate? Milk of roses is such a pretty name. It sounds like it sounds like a like a delicious smelling perfume. By the turn of the 20th century, many of the dangers within cosmetics were better understood. However, as acknowledged in the 1897 book, The Toilet containing hints and advice on health, beauty, and dress, with innumerable recipes for the toilet table, people continue to use many beauty treatments despite knowing the risks. This was possibly as a result of it being known that many of the ingredients cause problems over long-term use, leading people to believe a little wouldn't hurt. Risky beauty treatments continue to exist well into the last century. Radium was thought to be a cure-all wonder material in the first half of the 20th century, and it, ad it was added to anything you can think of, especially cosmetics. Have you guys seen the, the radium tea? It's like a little, it's like a little fucking... It's like a fucking tea infuser, but it's got radium inside of it! And you drink that shit! What the fuck? Well, many historic beauty treatments carry dangers which seem obvious to us today, the modern beauty industry is still not perfect, and people continue to choose to partake in harmful practices. Recent campaigns have raised awareness of to these issues as the link between long-term use of sunbeds and skin cancer, the dangers of skin bleaching products, and the environmental consequences of plastic microbeads and skincare. There have even been cases in recent years where eyeshadows have tested positive for asbestos. Remember, beauty shouldn't be pain. Then why do I have to go to the dentist? Brian Elling, 
more dollars. Radium is radioactive. Let's put on watches for glow in the dark. Girl licked brushes to make them pointy. We're called radium girls. Mm hmm. Hey, good thing we're $10. We are heading towards World War III. And here's $10 for Pippa. Thank you! When the bombs go off, I'll remember you. Mask Tanager, think of the $5. Wait, Pippa, don't you eat in the shower? You need to eat more than once a week. Listen, I only eat like candy in the shower, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want to I want to find a video of um Radi Radian Noctrinator. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's mute this music. Okay. Oh, weird radioactive items. Here we go. Here we go. I'll turn that shit up. There's like, there's like radioactive fucking plates and shit, and they like glow under like black light. Mr. Slav. Like arsenic. Drinks and medicine with opium or coke, eye drops with toxic belladonna, and let's not forget potassium chloride pastilles, which we are used to suit sore throat. By the way, those pastilles could spontaneously combust, but what will will? What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, there was some sort of um um. Oh fuck! I'm oh god! Oh, I'm not good with remembering shit. There was like, um, there was some sort of like, linen that was used in, um, um, dresses. Uh, with the 333. Now consider that your knowledge of biology is barely a step above theirs and our stuff is way more powerful. Ah! 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 It's not Boris, is his name not Boris? It should be. Uh, there's, our stuff is way more powerful. You're gonna die from something though, so don't worry about it. True. True. Man, is my bed radioactive? Probably not. Probably not. John Garrison ignores radium underwear to increase fertility in men. That seems like it would have the opposite effect. Cover here is radioactive things that were used by our ancestors. It all started in 1895 when Wilhelm Rodgen stumbled on X-rays while experimenting with Leonard and Crookes tubes. Next year, French physicist Henry Bacquerel. Wait, I was tangenting and then I forgot. Uh, quick thing comes. These sort of related people used to dust crops with lead arsenic, lead and arsenic together at last. Oh, um. They used to use some sort of like oh fuck I forget the um uh, Leandro Martinez England two hundred or is opium is the best plant God left for us to on Earth to cure strong pain. Oh nothing more, lawyers. I'll always boggle my mind that people inject the toxin that causes botulism for beauty treatments. There was there was this, this this type of cloth that people used to use on dresses and it could just like fucking combust. Like, like it would just like oh fuck I forget I forget the I forget the details on it but. It's like, it's like, like a little, a little amount of heat could just like set this shit on fire. Cotton, it wasn't cotton. Cellulose! It was cellulose, I'm pretty sure. They were making clothing. They were making clothing with cellulose. And it was making the fucking clothing just like fucking, whoa, like go up in flames. They also used to use it for like curtains and shit. Uh, ask the anything, but how much radium do I eat to join the CIA? And, uh, our celluloid? Whatever. Oh, cotton is celluloid. Is it? Fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Yeah, it would, it would, it would set the clothing on fire. And they were using it for, like, curtains and shit. Because this was when they were, like, first starting to, like, really use curtains to, like, keep flies and shit out of the house. Because, like, uh, uh like, it was becoming, like, more known that flies are a, 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 a disease carrier. And so... People were like freaking out over bugs and they were they were just fucking like like during this time they were also covering their houses with these curtains that had the cellulose in it or celluloid whatever the fuck and they were wearing it with their clothes and shit yeah yeah love the drug stream so far <laughs> people feet del del delicious thing on baby nice feet where the Nitrocellulose, not cellulose. Okay, nitrocellulose. It combusts with friction. Nitrocellulose, it combusts with friction. Okay, that's what it was. That's what it was. 
accidentally discovered spontaneous radioactivity. So from there, no, everything no, 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 started. No, no. Fuck. Think about the 129 Mexicans. You should look up the guy who had his jaw fall off because he was drinking radioactive water every day. Rolling onwards, or should I say, downwards. In 20th century, people didn't know much about radioactivity, but it did sound alluring and mysterious. So all those Metro scammers and health quacks started or, making no, uh, various it, it radioactive products, claiming that it will help. One of the I, more prolific. I combined two messages to make something very inaccurate. Now I think about the lies. In the 50s, there was a lot of toy kits for kids that were called Atomic Energy Lab, and yes, it had real samples of radioactive elements in the box. Actually, made something about the lies. The super combustible fabric was crinoline. Popular starting in the mid 19th centuries until ladies started catching fire. Crinoline. That's now just refers to like a um a type of skirt. Like crinoline is what you put underneath a skirt to make it poofier. The inventors of such devices was William Bailey. Unlike other scam artists, which made fake radioactive products, meaning those products had no radioactivity, William Bailey actually kept his word and made them radioactive. Perhaps too radioactive. I like his accent. One of those products was a small device designed to restore lost manhood by irradiating <laughs> it. National Atomic Testing Museum. Irradiating it. Wait, no, no, he said like this, he said like, radiating it. Creator started to get worried when she noticed this device, so she tested it with a Geiger counter. It showed about 57 milligrees per hour. It also was two times more potent 100 years ago. Three days of constantly wearing this would make a man temporarily infertile. Literal false advertising. Cap Taker Joe, think you were coming to Phil. I heard you were interested in considering getting a train set or playing a train game. I could teach you the ways of the tism. Oh, I'm thing for the lawyers. Wait, nitrocellulose. You mean smokeless gunpowder nitrocellulose? Yeah! Uh, recommend, recommend stuff, Cap Taker Joe. If you wore this thing all the time, every day for a week, you would experience a painful skin burn with various ulcers. Poisoning was nitrocellulose is a plastic that, that film I would is like to cover are radium dial watches. I oh, think most of us have heard about radium girls, which in 1920s worked in watch factory. They would lick paint brushes to get a nice sharp tip, and used toxic radium dye to paint watch dials. By licking this substance, they would expose themselves with a lot of radiation. Enough. never do that. I could never, I could never lick the tip of a paintbrush, right? Like, I remember, like, arts and crafts classes and shit. I could never, I could never, like, lick the, the top of the fucking paintbrush or, or anything. Like, I saw, I saw, like, other kids do it and stuff. But, like, just use, like, your fingertips. Like, what I would do is I would take, I would take, like, we'd have, like, uh, either, like, a rag or paper towels, right? And I would just, like, squeeze the fucking paintbrush tip with the with the with the paper towel or the rag i'm not i'm gonna put fucking paint in my mouth fuck you to literally made their jaws disappear these watches with radium paint which illuminates dials in darker places well don't just lick them and you will be fine right wrong even though they don't emit much of radiation they do produce radioactive gas called radon when people inhale enough radon gas, they might have more chances of developing lung cancer. One of radium dial watch in a poor ventilated room could possibly increase radon gas levels 134 times the safe limit. Back on noising when two lords, it's fine, they didn't hire rabbits anyways. Uh, patchouli dazing vibe. Uh, there's those fancy ass healing amulet thingies on Amazon which actually emit radiation! There's a YouTube channel that tests and reports those products. What the fuck? What the fuck? Nevada thing, one more. She looks so easy to impress. Her jaw is always on the floor. <laughs> oh no. Happy day thing. I'm gonna be beep and love. I'm taking jewelry and dollars for train game. I recommend train sim, not train sim world. Due to the ease of control learning, even the graphics aren't the best. Uh, as for model train, what scale and error are we talking here? Um... I don't know. I like the Christmas trains. Dirt facing on BP. Hello, Peppa. Butcher, I think I'm five dollars. Raid on Shadow Legends. Keys in the hand, I think I'm BP. Hi. Um. How about like, how about like 1850s? Are there 1850s era trains? Kits? 
Not like from the 1850s, but like based on that. After USA wiped two Japan cities with atom bomb in 1945, just two years later, Ooh. food company decided, hey, let's make a cool radiation ring for the kids. General Mills Kicks cereal brand offered this special ring. If you send them 15 Is this a... Is this a... Is this... Is, is, there, is there not a brand that is this, but different? No? I swear, like, this looks so familiar. Oh, it's still around! Okay. Sense and cereal box top. So it wasn't actually in the cereal box. However, this ring still contained polonium 210. Even though amount of polonium was probably minuscule, it still is polonium, which is one of the most toxic elements on Earth. It is 250,000 times more toxic than hydrogen cyanide by weight. Put that flag in the background. Was that toxic that elements flag? on Earth? It is too. Bruh. It is two hundred and fifty thousand times fuck, more toxic than hydrogen cyanide by oh, weight. But this is only if someone swallowed it. It's also a good train so game if you like simulating delivering things. Also, it's beyond the board. Smart enough to not eat So Jesus it's safe. Christ. Anyway, why would they put this uh, radioactive museum? material inside the Damn ring? Of $5. No. Uh, sex that radium paint is basically illegal now. What do you mean it sucks? Would be nice to have my watch not need light for charging the glow. Bro, get a fucking LED watch! If you remove this plastic cap and look through a special plastic window and you were in the dark, you would see polonium alpha particles striking the ring's zinc sulfide screen, which would look like uh, white flashes. These rings are still for sale, however, since polonium 210 has a half-life of 140 days, by this time it has lost most of its radioactive power and these flashes are no longer seen. That's a shame. In 1912, some dude patented a very healthy jar. A jar which had its inner walls painted with radioactive materials such as uranium and radium. Who would have bought this item, you might wonder? Well, it was people. Drink your way to health and happiness. Is this not the cover for that handbook to mortals thing? Uh, handbook for, th handbook for the recently deceased. That's what it's called. It's like, it's like, I think it's from like Beetlejuice, right? Even random YouTubers are putting sus imagery into Pippa streams. Looks the same. Not only they bought this jar, the demand was so great that the dude who invented the thing he had to sell his operations to another. Get Uwu to make what? To make a fucking. What was it called? Plutonium Open. ring? Anyway, this product worked like a simple jar where you would place water, kept it overnight. The radioactive him, walls would irradiate. Thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, I follow the channel. It's basically a military museum. Oh, the old man will call right. Okay, listen, it's historical. It's historical. Jack Crow, thank you for five dollars. It's all wrong. The only reason they tell you not to eat radioactive material is because it's really tasty and the elites don't want to share. I believe you. Get the water and Pol make it polonium. a very healthy thing. Thankfully, the radiation was quite mild. The more problematic was radium, which, uh, as I covered before, produces radon gas. Also, the spout part of this oh jar God. was made out of lead and arsenic. Oh my fucking God. So the water God. was not only radioactive, but filled with toxic metals. Thanks, San Francisco. He Until about wear, that 1960s, cute. the radioactive elements uranium, thorium, and potassium-40 were well, used in glazes like for tile, mug, pottery, and other widely available ceramics. The more popular ones were Fiesta wear with uranium oxide glazing. As long as the dishes were not chipped or broken, it was quite safe to use them for food consumption. I don't... Okay. I... I got... I got... I got... This plate set, right? And I don't remember, like, the brand name. But, like, the story behind it is, like, I saw... Okay, I got this cup. Um... And it was, like, it was, like, a tourist cup, right? I got this cup, and I was, like, this is my favorite cup. And I've had this cup for, like, forever. And so now that, like, I have my own place, I got, like, the entire fucking set to match. So now, like, all of my, all of my dishes and my bowls and everything, I had a giant-ass salad bowl, but it broke in the dishwasher. They're all, they're all the same type as this fucking mug that I got like 10 years ago. 
<laughs> I hunted it down! I fucking bought it! Anyways. Anyways. But, like, whatever it's made out of, it, like... Cracks? Like, on the inside? Like... Like, it's not like, it's not like broken, I don't think, but it's like... It's like, it's like... Like, you see like the little cracks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'll take like, a picture. Nuclear powered. Internal stresses. Is, is it, is it, is it, is it because it's ceramic? I don't know if it is ceramic. Is it dishwasher safe? It is dishwasher safe. Stress fractures. Is it in, in the glaze? In the glaze, yeah. It has radium in it. Don't use it in your dishwasher. It says dishwasher safe! Uh, John Garrison and for the small amounts of radiation you could safely hold in your hand and it will kill you if ingested, but it absorbs into your body and stays there? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ceramic does fracture. Yeah. That's called crazing. It's so weird. You probably have to use a more gentle setting, Pippa. Ah. Ah. Your dishwasher hates you. Ah. Ah. Anybody else ever have a problem of bugs coming up from their dishwasher? I've never had this problem before. I've never seen this before. But like, my dishwasher... Like... Little tiny flies were coming out of it. Yeah, drain flies. It's so fucked up. I've not had it. Be glad. Be glad. Clean it. I did like the- I did like the cleaning settings and stuff. Are you using your dishwasher? Yes, I use my fucking dishwasher. Why do you have the- Why do you live in the Resident Evil 7 house? Fuck off. The reason why it becomes Bleach dangerous if it is chipped is because of alpha particles, which can be released, and the alpha particles are quite dangerous when ingested. Eating acid foods like spaghetti with various sauces could potentially cause alpha particle leakage. Also, if you were bad with knife cutting skills, you could also damage the radioactive glazing and release some alpha particles. However, there is no info. JP thing for those radioactive phase merch when background noising doors that house the, the house that Nurgle built. Why? Why do you guys need like cutting boards? Do you guys use cutting boards? I bought a cutting board. I bought a cute one. It's like Southern Living brand, and I don't know where it went. But, so now I just use, like, the counter. To not cut the tabletop. But, like, if your tabletop's not wood, then, like, you don't need to worry about that, right? So you don't get meat juice all over the counter? Just wipe it up, forehead. Do I think I'll be beat? Pippa, release a figure! Still damages it. Doesn't really look like it. You're my favorite cutting board? Fuck off! Cross contamination. Yeah, if you're dealing with like uncooked chicken or something. Versus kids are then gonna be right for flat yabbit cutting board merch. Let's go! I'm not thinking of You use a cutting board to protect the knife edge. Just sharpen the knife again, forehead. Formation on someone getting sick from using Fiesta Vir. Yeah, because I probably just blamed whatever cooking. It's 1930s, and your mom is taking you to a shoe store. Nor I'm gonna live with this grudge for the rest of my life, chat. A little tangent time. Okay. One time, Grandma Ken... I went to Grandma Ken's house, and I forgot to bring my shoes with me. And she lived like... Like eight hours away, right? So you, I can't just like go home and get my shoes. So she was like, okay, you need shoes. Let's go to the shoe store. So we went to the shoe store, right? And not only did I lose the book I was reading there, but also they had Lion King shoes. They had Lion King shoes. But they were for little, little kids. Like I was a, like I was a kid, right? But I wasn't like a little, little kid. So I couldn't get the Lion King shoes! And I live with that memory for some reason. I, 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 I have- it became like a fucking core memory of walking into that shoe store and seeing the- seeing the shoes with Simba on them and I wanted them so bad! And I did not have them. DC bikes name to Lars Pippa, you're dumb, get a cutting board. Uh, I have one somewhere. Uh, yeah. 
Tech Curling would watch. Just so you know, Roblox is now on PlayStation. I don't own a PlayStation, but thank you. Family store people would uh, give customers few size shoes and you would pick the best fitting pair. To make things easier, a peculiar device was invented. They literally the made fuck? an x-ray shoe fitting device. Bro. This was made mostly for kids since their feet grow fast. Oh my god. So a customer, which was usually a child, would place feet inside the machine. This machine would then give a live x-ray view of feet through three oh portables. My god. One for kid, second for mom, and the third for shoe salesperson. They would see if the kid is able to wiggle the toes freely. You would think, so what? We have x-rays in hospitals. But those machines have tubes powered with just 8 watts, and we still have various LED protection. Shoe x-ray machines, however, those could be more than 700 watts and had wooden what? panels as a protection, what especially in US. It's over for you. What the fuck? I just demanded anything with less. Speaking of products that can hurt you, have you heard of McDonald's Garfield cups that had over the legal limit of lead and cadmium? I had not. Bro, it's fucking over. <laughs> it's fucking over for you. <laughs> My call is for five dollars. One time I got an x ray at the doctor's, and one at the first time they went, oops, and had me come out and then put on the lead light and put on me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, what the fuck? Next hand to us, for the $10. Fun fact, shipping centers irradiate packages with gamma rays to sterilize packages in case they might be laced with a pathogen like anthrax by would-be terrorists. Kim and Carlos ain't gonna be the hate feet more than I do. See, the machines were extremely radioactive. No shit! They had no lead shielding. It is estimated that during 20 seconds, customer moving his feet, he would be exposed to 0.13 sieverts of radiation. One machine was found to be able to shoot one sievert per 20 seconds. That- I don't know what a sievert is. Okay, that's- Bro, you just know, you just know too that they're like they're trying on multiple different shoes, right? Because like they said, they were like, oh, the 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 uh, with the children, they they have the children do it to test to see like if they could wiggle their toes inside the shoes. So the children are being like exposed to this multiple time, and then he said the salesman would also like put their feet in there to compare, which means the fucking salesmen are doing that like like how many how many times a day. How many fucking times a day? Is three times more rengans than infamous elephant's foot in Chernobyl. Damn, oh my God. one sievert, that's crazy, man. Five sieverts, by the way, is 50% uh, deadly. This is almost unbelievable. For those skeptical people, I will leave a link with source in the description. Thankfully, the highest radiation dosage was crazy. shot at the feet, which are probably the least radioactive affected human body part. Okay, I still don't want them to be fucking, like, shoved in a goddamn microwave. Like, However, some shoe salesmen hello? complained of various radiation burns. No the shit! The part was how there were people who just wanted to come to look at their own feet under x-ray machine without buying any shoes. I would if I didn't know it was dangerous. I mean, that's like, that's like a cool little thing. That was Martin's thing about dollars. Those kids had kids. That's why we're so dumb nowadays. <laughs> Now, if radium could do such horrible things to dial girls, and they only swallowed a little bit of it when uh, painting watch uh, dials, imagine if there was a medicine with radium and you had to actually swallow it purposely. This medicine is called Raditor. At the start of the oh, video, no. I have mentioned the dude which created the manhood enhancer thing. Oh, no, the same, same guy. dude also created Raditor. Oh my god. Of course, Raditor also uh, was He's some sort of a cure for manhood and uh, impotence. And it was filled with radium 226 and 228 up, isotopes. I think we all have seen that horrible picture of a man without a jaw. This man was an industrialist guy who was just hell bent on consuming Raditor daily. Only after ingesting 1,400 bottles of Raditor, he stopped. How did he fucking survive this many? How did he survive this many? What do you mean, 1,400 bottles? How? How? He felt ill. He lost weight. He had constant headaches and his teeth started falling out. 
His lawyer said this about his condition. Wall upper jaw, excepting two front teeth and most of his lower jaw had been removed. All the remaining bone tissue of his body was disintegrating and the holes were actually forming in his skull. When he died, he was buried in a lead coffin. Now let's look over some other radioactive household items. One company in the 1920s manufactured it's a serious problem. Medicine we, didn't get, pills, we, we didn't get a little off topic. Pills which had radium inside. They claimed this radio X tablets without grab, pain, or loss of meal, or one minute time will dissolve the clogging of the gall ducts, enabling the liver to throw off its secretions. It's gonna fucking, it's gonna clear your fucking organs out of your goddamn body. What the fuck? Putting everything through the oh, proper no. channels, leaving the system in a natural and oh, healthy condition. No. However, these tablets had a small dose of 30 uh, nanocuries. Nano For example, by drinking rabbit or bottle, you would get 2000 times more radium than in one tablet of Radio X. Okay. Okay, I have a- I have a- let's get back on the hygiene actually. Kill everything or too large, but what can you say? No, I'm scared. I don't know what that will sound like when I pronounce it, so I don't want to. Yeah! Not Rad X? Also, not very oh my God. Okay, okay. but still pretty interesting. These were supposed to work as some sort of a magical eye cure fixing nearsightedness, myopia, and other various eye problems. Well, it had as pens. much radiation as a radioactive pill. Manufacturer claimed that the, the best results were obtained by wearing the lenses for a period from 5 to 10 minutes twice per day, keeping the eyes closed during the treatment. Also, in previous century, glassmakers loved to use uranium to color glasses. It does look uranium pretty. would give glass green and yellow colors. They are radioactive, however, way less radioactive than Fiesta wear. If you shine UV light, the glass starts to so glow. Cool. Uh, Sean Cassing, my lords, I had to go through radiation and chemotherapy to kill my cancer, and it caused lots of strange side effects. Charles Martin's thing, well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're cancer free, hopefully. Uh, Charles Martin thing with the two dollars bull. If you can't see, you don't have myopia. The KFC book thing. Dollars had to go blind in one simple purchase. Cigarettes are quite toxic. So what we do to reduce the danger? Stop smoking? No. We insert a radioactive card inside the cigarettes package. What the fuck is it with cigarettes and being like the most dangerous thing repeatedly? Like. Cigarettes on their own already fucked up, right? But then they combine like asbestos with them, and then what's this? What's this? Wait, what? Yes, in 1960s there was a device which allegedly would reduce tar and nicotine inside the cigarettes. Uh. You Is think you had the cool toys when you were a kid? Not as cool as this one though. Oh, you guys were this talking is about a this. radioactive atomic energy lab kit which was released in the 1950s. It comes with four sources of radiation, including <gasps> uranium ore. Not just Sounds one, very four. interesting for a kid. The kit even has a Geiger counter, which kids at the time supposed to use to find uranium ore deposits. Surprisingly, this toy had poor sales. What the fuck? How about a radioactive toothpaste? <laughs> this toothpaste contained a radioactive element called thorium, but not that much since thorium which was in the paste was just in monazite sands. People who made this toothpaste claimed that it would destroy germs and strengthen the defenses of teeth and gums. And finally, this fun object is a canned radiation. People just have to make money out of anything. So bah. somebody had an idea to go bah. to the accident at Three Mile Island and can can the air. The contents of the can had 185 milligrams of radiation, about 2700 what? times smaller dose than the little one. Psst, oh. this can is just a gag. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's not... Okay. Okay. So that wasn't that wasn't bad. What the fuck is going on there? Okay. Okay. So anyways. So anyways. <laughs> God, that was so fucked up. God, that was so fucked up. Tip of feet x-ray picks win. Never. Okay. This is body care and grooming from 1948. Dun, 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 dun. I figured we'd take a look at old hygiene standards and then we'd... Well, I have this and I have a few articles prepared. 
Um, I wanted to make fun of Northerners. And then we can we can take a look at some some modern resources. Like Daniel Zinger, the five doors. This guy called Radioactive Boy Scout. He made a nuclear reactor out of the Marisium from old smoke detectors and thorium from old lanterns. What the fuck? Look at Doctor Zinger, five doors. Micro noise and doors. I've heard rabbits can withstand tons of radiation. Textbook of Healthful Living by Dr. Harold S. Dial. Wow. I'm amazed it doesn't say Tola or ugly people. If you're not a radiated rabbit, they turn into paper. Shut up. Spring. When birds are on the wing. When flowers bloom. Wow, how romantic. Loud? Is it better? man's fancy lightly turns to thought. Oh. What's the matter? Thinking. Exam week getting you down? What you need is to put down that notebook and take in some of the beauties of nature. Daniel Sarah, then Gloria's not going to lie, that radioactive tantrum was badass. Oh my god, females! But wait a minute, young lady. How did you get into this picture? She looks kind of modern, doesn't she? Well, no stealing from Lawrence. To be fair, these products probably did kill germs. They just killed everything else, even the user. She, doesn't she kind of look like... Modern? Am I crazy? Check out the ankles, whore! Time traveler. Oh, well, look, Shabby... Uh, did you call her fat? I mean, I, I don't want... I don't mean, like, fat. I just mean, like, she's more, like... Like the fashion sense and everything. And like the hairstyle. You see, we're trying to prove a point about nature and beauty, and you're not he exactly looks like a rat. helping, you know. Look at your He's fucking calling her ugly! What the fuck? Bill over here, brother, don't forget the strong bad email about hygiene. They're calling her ugly! Your hair. And the way that skirt hangs. And those socks. Sorry, there must have been a mistake. You don't seem to be exactly the type to make this guy behave like a human being. What the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, chat! So the basic for noise that you're looking at hygiene stuff. Someone told, sold the Dante bottle from DMZ that will make her into a dead dog. You can find it today. What? This is so fucked up. This Wait is so fucked up. Come back. Ethan, don't me. Look at this woman showing ankles and out of the kitchen. Well, no worries, fellow viewers. We'll fix this situation yet. Let's start all over again. About other things, Dolores Pippa. When did you time travel? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, brother is right. What? Look at that hair. That skin. That mouth. What? And now look at that blouse. Okay, what changed? Her shirt's still tucked in. She's still wearing a cardigan. Huh? I don't get it. How much I think of five dollars? Nice to know the Hollywood trope of an attractive woman in a frumpy outfit just needs a makeover. Is apparently old enough to be a classic. Um, Zeke's arriving with Lars. Two out of ten sharp knees. What? What changed? And the socks. Her socks are fixed. Thanks a lot for helping us prove a point. I don't. I don't understand what changed other than the socks. You see, we're trying to prove a point about nature. And what? What changed? Eddie Lombardo, thank you for the five dollars. I think that's Ed Gein, and she's going to be turned into a lampshade. Sven, thank you for the dollars. She stopped reading. Equals instant beauty. Her hair was messy. Her hair doesn't look that messy. What? You see, and the way that her hair looks fine. Her hair looks.
book's fine. What? Sideways, Angry Dolores. What changed? The book is for show. She can't read. The KFC bucket thing. Dolores, she literally just put in a hairpin. That's it. Her hair looks fine. Disorganized in general. Look at that. Oh, her blouse is like partly like. Is this really? Are, are you serious right now? Are, are you serious right now? Like this is this is like the deal breaker here. Her fucking blouse is like... Okay. The bacon thing thing, Red Lords. The radiation shoe machine reminds me of the Therac 25 cancer therapy malfunctions that were supposed to give 200 rads, but get 15 to 20,000 instead! What the fuck? What the fuck? She's unkempt. Messy girl. Messy life. How unladylike. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, chat. I think there's like a charm to the kind of messy look. Jason, what do you think, Valors? You're awesome, Peppa. Thank you. I, mean, I think I think there's like a charm to it. But I watch too much anime. Let's start all over again. Peppa feels attacked. Oh. I don't I don't have to worry about this kind of thing because I just wear like I wear like either a t-shirt or a tank top underneath a hoodie. So, and then for pants, I usually just do like jeans or like. Those comfy, like, sweatpants. Her little arm reviews ain't gonna be the difference is how she's properly irradiated. Uh, eat thing with the five dollars. If you have boomer parents, the reason they're always there, they're, they, 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 Oh, her blouse is also, like, pulled closer together. Wait, not blouse. Her cardigan is pulled, like, closer together. And her her blouse is, like, more neatly done. What the? I remember showing you this for your bird and bees. Papakin, what the fuck? Papakin, Papakin sent me a text message saying, I remember showing you this for your birds and bees. Pumpkin, this is about body care and grooming. You never gave me a birds and the bees talk. I had to watch that shit in like fifth grade, sixth grade, all right? We sat down in the classroom and they put it on and I, I, I was reading a book so that way I didn't have to pay attention to it. And then I learned the old natural way by spending too much time on the internet. Again, so, now. check yourself. And now look at that Hi, Pumpkin, don't talk to my father! And now look at the skirt. Socks. Thanks a lot for helping us prove a point. She really doesn't look that different. And Our you, father, he's not your father! You too know the value of a good appearance. It did make her look like a lot less heavy set though. Why do I have to pretend to be nice about it? She doesn't look as fat. The bad thing for though, say hi to Papa Kid in chat. Louis SM, then come back to B. Glory to Papa Ken. Oh my god. In fact, you all know that a good appearance is a. This one looks like a reptilian. The eyes are too dark, chat. Her pupils. Not pupils. Like the sclera and stuff, it blends in too much. It's too dark. She's a reptilian. Mr. Garthing Dolores, he adopted us, remember? He said, Stop yelling at your kid! Don't tell me what to do! Don't tell me what to do! You don't control me! This is my stream! This is not- this is, You don't like my stream?! Don't! Watch it! I was trying to draw like a parallel to like... You- you don't- you don't... Like my rules, but it's my house, my rules. I, I still messed it up. Right, then I'm gonna be, be, be Hi, Papakin. Let's see, old boy, I think I'm gonna do Beast Papakin, he's our father too. He adopted us. Shut up! That was out of pity. Can't act the thing with Liz Papakin may ask for your daughter's hand. I need to wash it. It's got green lines coming off of it. Shut up. Angel Martinez, Aaron 200 R's. Hello, mister. A pleasure. Stop kissing my father's ass, you weirdos. Not only to your college life now, but to your business and professional life. Well, these are all college kids. They look like they're like 35. Also now, Angel Dolores, hoodies are peak fashion. True? Based? Real? Like a noise, Angel Dolores, our father who arts in the Warren. <laughs> Mini Gunner, thing about Lars, her hair is styled, she has lipstick, her blouse is lined, and her shoes pulled up evenly. Ah. Somebody played those Spot the Difference books as a child. Back books, thing about Dozen Wounds. Hi, Jean. You pick an interesting subject. Is there any special reason? Yeah, because I'm educating Our these losers. 
But good yeah. appearance is more than dressing up like a fashion plate. Is that Elvis Presley? Anyone will make a good appearance if he's neat, no matter what his style of clothing. Clothes are important. Besides fitting well and That's a reptilian, that's not real. Looking well, the clothes should be appropriate to the occasion. Wearing inappropriate clothes, like these shoes, is a What? What Huh? Wearing inappropriate clothes. Bro, they're like the same pair of shoes. What are you talking about? The KFC thing with Dillard's are Papa can't shut up. They're literally like the same pair of shoes. Caramel the rabbit person thing for the five dollars. Papa Ken, Tippa won't let us run the stream. You can't run the stream. Maldosity thing for two dollars. Is Papa Ken single? No, he's married. Uh, Slop Kainiki thing completely. I miss the days when you could smoke in the lecture halls in university. They're like the same fucking shoes, dude. Like these shoes. What's wrong with them? Is a sure way to make yourself uncomfortable and conspicuous. What do you mean conspicuous? What? Bro, their shoes. I don't bother them with those. This is from a time where a fifty-year-old people, where fifty-year-old people looked at least twenty years older. But good grooming Being is more than clothes deep. Good grooming starts with personal care. This principally means the care of your this hands, looks like Anne Frank. your hair, your teeth, and your skin. Let's begin with the skin by taking a look at it from the doctor's point of view. A little seething with the two dollars. We can share popkin. We're desperate. Skin is what the a fuck? complex living tissue, whose proper care requires a basic understanding of what it is and what it does. This is so weird. JP thing from Fun Lawyers. Popkin, should we be allowed to use slurs? What? Zen gunman thing come big The sixties happened and changed all the rules and societal expectations. Every boomer I know was like, after sixty six, there were no rules. In this highly magnified section through the skin. We see that skin is made up of various layers. I don't think that's magnetized. Ma 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 the outer layer ma are constantly drying out and dropping off mag to be replaced by the growing cells of the layers below. I, I think this is an art piece. I don't think this is real, chat. in thickness and texture on various parts of the body. It's a fuck off. On the lips. The eyelid. Hi. Or the feet. Oh, God. Notice they didn't Perhaps use a the woman's feet for that. Example of skin specialization is on your fingertips. Here, the skin is ah. grooved to help you hold smooth objects. Hey, dog, they can find dollars. Pippa, can we watch the video testing crazy recipes from 1933? Chemical formula book. It's seven minutes and perfect for this stream. Maybe. Provided with nerves. It's still a foot, though. You guys are sick. Amazing sensitivity to outside stimuli. Hence. So what he just said. Right? Richly provided with nerves, which give the skin an amazing sensitivity to outside stimuli. You know what's base chat? Is going up to like your parents and stuff. Publican. And you, you get like, you put like an ice cube in one hand and you go to give them a hug and they don't know that you have an ice cube and then you drop it down the back of their shirt. It's not quite anything for those. If we examine P Pippa's skin, we would need to get through the layers of mold to examine her epidermis. The mold will steal the scalpel. Fuck you. Fuck off. Hence, the skin acts as a sensory organ for the protection of the body <laughs> as a whole. Yeah. Classic. And skin serves to protect you still another way. By That's what you do to friends, not parents. That's what you do to both. Providing one of the first physical signs of illness or disease. I, I feel like... I feel like by the time illness starts showing up on your hands and stuff, we're, we're past the point of, like, early signs. Sergeant Buck thing of the five dollars. This production brought to you by Herbert Hoover Feet Pictures. What? Most skin also contains hair. The hair roots are located below the skin surface. But how many of you bonus points of the shirt is stuck in? found in association with the sebaceous or oil glands. These oil glands often empty directly into the hair follicle or opening by means of which the oil reaches the skin surface. This is still, like, the correct, right? The purpose of this oil is to soften and lubricate the hair and skin. Right? Another gland <laughs> found in the skin Awkward is silence. the sweat gland. Yes, okay. Besides, I think the lowest pippa, who was your favorite hairstyle growing up? Sweat through individual openings or my favorite hair... Bro, you think I ever bothered doing my hair? My favorite hairstyle was just however my hair fell. Pores. I, I, I didn't, like... I 
still don't. I still don't do anything with it. Chief functions of the skin. The main value of sweating is the control of body heat, brought about by the evaporation of sweat from the skin surface. Most oh, the awkward pauses. Under one circumstance or another. Dun dun dun! Besides accumulating sweat, he is in trouble, the skin Jack. is also constantly picking up dirt, dust, grit, and other foreign particles. And because the skin has lots of openings in its surface, these foreign particles, most of them loaded with bacteria, may enter the skin and start an infection. What the fuck? Such an infection, if untreated. Bro, what the fuck? What is this? What do you mean an infection? What is this? This isn't from just getting like dust on you. What the hell? What the hell? Bad acne? Try putting an admission anything, Miller's Papa Kin. I'm asking for No! Self kind of getting dollars. You excited for a surfy collab on Wednesday? Hell yeah! It's just acne, super acne. Or irritated could develop into a widespread inflammation or even blood poisoning. What? Don't let this happen to you. What do you mean blood poisoning? What? Protect your skin. Keep it looking clear and fresh. Keep it clean. The best way to clean your skin is still the old fashioned use of soap, hot water, and plenty of elbow grease. Um, actually, they say you're not supposed to wash your face with hot water. Then I'm doodling when I spit this favorite hairstyle, oily and matted. Shut up. And the result is well worth the effort. You don't need scientific hey, proof just scrub of the it. leprosy off. You can feel it. Look at that. Cured! First it gets to the middle. Speaking of parental... Water, are... Speaking of parental payback, my dad once sprayed me with cologne. It scared me. I flailed. Accidentally kicked him in the jewels. Never did it again. What do you mean he accidentally... Uh, wait, what? He sprayed you with cologne? What? Every chair thing with those. Remember this is back when they added lead to gasoline? There are other good aids for cleaning your skin. One of these is cleansing cream. Ooh. Hey guys, do you Many think there's radium in that? Helpful in removing cosmetics. However, nothing can take the place of your daily bath or shower. Daily. CPPC deck thing and How often do you wash your pillowcases? This is the time to give your skin a good invigorating workout. I don't I don't know. If it's a no rolling dollars. Just get done with work has the stream pips. There are body odors to be eliminated. She didn't soak that up first. Dried sweat, I don't know the words. Narrator sounds one step removed from violence. Constantly. It looks like there was Your soap on it, though. Shower should end with a brisk rinsing to carry away all soapy residue. This is really the best part of the shower. It stimulates the skin and wakes it up all over. Is that the scientific uh, bathing and description for that? Should be kept for your own personal use. Don't share them with others. Yeah, what are you, a communist? You use another person's toothbrush, so don't use their towel or toilet articles. Okay. And it goes without saying. Yeah, the closet. That That's an interesting decision. Should go next to that clean skin. Do you like wait well, for them to? Not be necessary. Do you just like wait for them to dry first, or do you just shove them in there? For all of you. How old is this? Girl, it says right here, 1948. To prevent skin roughness or chapping. Expensive creams and powders, however, aren't necessary. A healthy skin can be kept attractive with only a few simple preparations. How oh, the awkward pauses. The removal of hairs is sometimes a problem. You can take care of single hairs with a pair of tweezers. I've literally never done this before. I've, I've literally... Sometimes... Does anybody else do this? Where you're like, you're trying to like preemptively stop like stuff from falling in your, in your eyes. So you just like kind of like... Like gently pinch at your eyebrows to like pull like the, the loose ones. So that way you don't have to pip a unibrow. No, my my eyebrows are like naturally thin. Like never had a struggle with them. But you have no eyebrows. I have eyebrows. What the fuck? The monobrow confirmed. I remember. Okay, this is this is terrible of me, Chad. This is terrible of me. But I remember in school, I was a child. I was a child. All right, I was a child. 
um, this girl sat next to me in class, and I didn't have any friends, and she kind of had, like, a monobrow, and I said, do you want to be friends? You look nice. And in my mind, I was thinking, like, she probably has no friends because she has a monobrow, which means she'll be willing to be my friend. I didn't stay at that school long enough to... <laughs> to find out. <laughs> but... <laughs> but... But no, I didn't say anything! I, I didn't say anything, okay? I just... It was just my internal reasoning! Greg Dealy realized Pippa the type to be clean enough for activities? What? Bahamut, thank you for the, um... Two dollars? I don't know if lubricating cream is for her face? It's like, it's like hydrating. Peak need an erection. <laughs> the desperation of low expectations. Sorry to brag thinking of big pee pee. No matter the two less people, I will adopt. I will adopt this cave woman. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm sorry. Your best bet is a safety razor. <laughs> Don't worry that shaving the hair will make it grow back either faster or denser. That isn't true. But it is I've heard true that. that chemical hair removers have been... Well, so that's like a, that's like a myth that's like as old as time. Holy shit. Well, as old as the 1940s. <laughs> old as dirt, fucking 1940s. <laughs> but I've heard that. I've heard that a lot. That like if you, if you, um... If you shave, like, more hair will grow back or whatever. I don't really, I don't really have that problem. It, it feels like it's always, like, the same amount. Even in the late 40s, I knew it was a myth. How has it stuck around so long? Hopkins says, is that a razor? Looks like a rake. What do you mean, looks like a rake? True. But it is true that chemical hair removal... Hold on. Let's take a look at this, actually! Sometimes a problem. Hold on. You can take care of single hairs with a pair of tweezers. Okay, that's the tweezers. <laughs> but for leg and underarm hair, your best bet is a safety razor. Wait, yeah, what the fuck is that? How do you... What? Is that just like a design, maybe? And like, the razors are still on there, like, sitting flush? Why is it like this? Old school razor? Safety razor? This is terrifying looking. This is... Don't worry that Ugh. shaving the hair Ugh. will make it grow back either faster or Keep some razor blades in. That isn't true. But it is true that chemical hair removers have been found harmful to the skin in some cases. Mm. Nail polish is harmless. I, I don't I don't think that's a thing anymore. I don't I don't think chemical hair removers are a thing anymore. So I'm gonna say um I'm gonna say we sorted that out. We figured it out. We have a definitive answer for chemical hair removers. Nick Angeles, you were ten dollars. Once found a mod for FO4, put vintage poem from the fifties to the TV screens and were structured like one of these educational videos with a narrator putting on a fake German accent while women and what the fuck what what. But you should nair is still a thing? What is Nair? But for short periods in order to prevent cracking of the fingernail. What is Nair? Women usually take better care of their nails than men do. Many men let their nails get long and ragged. Stupid and men. Cuticles. For good nail care, a nail brush is indispensable. Is that a bar of soap just sitting in a bag? Oh no, it has like a container. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why that would be like the most strange thing to me, but it's like a cloth bag and then I just saw the bar of soap sitting there and it's like, you're just gonna let that sit on the cloth bag? The shaving kit. Nails provide hiding places for bacteria. For this reason, you should give your nails particular attention whenever you wash your hands. No. So I think front doors. Mom say that it grows back thicker to get teen boys to shave their awful facial hair. I now have 50 characters to use up and I'm getting... What? What? New York and the big the 50 Mexicans. Pippa, even guys know what Nair is. Okay, well, I don't know what Nair is. 
After washing your hands, push back the cuticle while it's still soft and pliable from the soaking. Trim it occasionally. What? And keep your nails short and smooth. And speaking of nails... Why? Don't forget, you have 20 of them. Oh my god. Toenails, of course, must be... Push back your cuticle? Why? Insensitive thing, Nintendo Lords, you should top off the stream with that one butt hair removal vid that was at the top of trending last month? What? ...be trimmed also. To help prevent ingrown nails, use a straight cross cut. Ah, uh, Kirsha says this the is bad! The nail then will not dig into the flesh of the toe. The Kirsha says cutting your nails your like this is bad? ...should be kept dry as a precaution against athlete's foot. Routine is there dusting with talcum powder will help keep them dry. Talcum powder. If athlete's foot should develop, consult a physician. Ah! Don't let this disease get a toehold on you. Ah! As an added precaution against that. Like foot, foot, and there is the most common, common chemical hair remover. With damp bathroom floors. Wear slippers or clogs. <laughs> to the bathroom? Next Bro? To the skin, we probably spend most of our attention on our hair. This is especially true among women. Bro? But this kind of superficial attention doesn't count. The hair needs careful attention, like this. Yes, yeah, females. By caring for the skin, proper care of the hair. Like this, she's just brushing her hair. What do you mean? Sebastian Monroe thing, Dolores, the army had us trim our nails this way? Hair requires some understanding of its structure and function. Here's a strand of human hair, greatly magnified. It looks like a palm tree. Notice the rough, scaly texture. You can imagine how dirt hangs on to anything like this. And My little ceiling with the... Ah, think of fun boys. Just bite your nails off like a nervous psychopath works for me? Yeah, that's what I tend to do. I mean, you guys see, like, in my hand cams and stuff, my nails are not... are not even. Oh, we're chatting, Dolores. Public bathrooms, Pippa, that's why shoes? Okay, that makes sense. Remember the oil glands that ah! pump their oil out the long hair shafts? Well, a healthy scalp has plenty of oil to which dirt will cling. And then, so like... wash your hair frequently. If and then, like, do you guys also, like, start picking at, like... There's, like, there's, like, the sides of your finger, right, that are, like, hard skin. Right? And you can, like, pick at that and, like, chew that off. But then there's, like, a second step. Where there's, like, the nail that's, like, on the, on the sides of the nail, right? That, like, you can kind of, like... Like, it's just, it's just, like, soft enough that if you scrape at the edge of your nail a little bit, it starts to, like, it starts to, like, come off a bit. And then you can just, like, keep, like, slowly scraping at it back. Yeah, and then it starts to bleed eventually, but... And it's, like, it's, like, making your nail thinner on both sides. Just rip it out. I don't, I don't just rip it out. I, I chew on it and slowly, like, pick at it. Don't do it. You can't stop me. You can't stop. Hangnail? Is that what a hangnail is? I don't know. I did it to my thumb. And, like, I think it, like, actually, like, fucked up my thumbnail a little bit. Like, like, that side doesn't really, like, grow in anymore. And, like, the other side grows in, and it's got, like, kind of like a white overhang a little bit. If you keep doing that, you will lose your nails. You can't prove that. You, you can't prove that. It leads to a hangnail. Yeah, that happens. Ingrown nail? No, it's different. I'm gonna vomit. Why are you gonna vomit? <laughs> Ask your teeth! It's because... Oh, it's proven? It's the nail root. What? Echo noising, Dolores, it sounds like self-mutilation. No, I just get anxious. I just get anxious and I, I pick at it a bit. And like... Like right now, there's like... There's like a little bit. I, I'm just tempted to just bite at it. Heard of moonlighting, Dolores. I lost all my nails... At least once from work. You want to keep That's this constant she'll know. accumulation of dust, oil, and sweat at a minimum. Your hair should be washed once every two weeks, or more often if necessary, with water and a mild soap. 
This will usually Byron take soap. care of normal dandruff too. Although excessive dandruff should be treated by a doctor. I could never do this. I could never wash my hair like this. I have to like tilt my head all the way back when I when I'm like soaping up my hair cuz otherwise like what if soap gets on your face? What if soap gets on your face? Then I have to then I have to like panic and like wash my entire face off underneath the underneath the shower head and then I have to grab I have to grab the rag and I have to wash my hand off before I grab the rag or I'll get soap on the rag and then I have to dry my eyeballs. You know what I mean? Rinse your hair thoroughly following the washing. A few drops of lemon juice or vinegar added to the water during the second rinse will make it much easier to remove any soap residue. Excuse me? The can't see bucket thing because we can't stop you, so I'm telling Papa Kid. What's Papa Kid do gonna do about it, huh? Your eyes are supposed to be wet, Pippa. This bitch's hair is gonna smell like vinegar and you're picking on me right now? The other thing, but Lois Pippa freaking out about soap? Yeah, the trek, shut up. The final rinsing, however, should be in fresh water. Yeah, I'm not putting vinegar in my hair. Yeah, no. If your hair squeaks after the final rinsing, you may be sure it's clean. What? The bacon thief thing with Dolores, I stare at the ceiling when it's shampoo time. If your hair squeaks? I've never heard that one before. You're literally squeaky clean. He said, don't make me come out there! Do it, Khaled! Come say hi! Idiot! Selena Nade, I think about the noise. Little sis? She's kind of stinky, smelly, barn bunny? Huh? Yeah, me? Wait, me? Yeah, but she's so cute, so it's okay. Excuse me, that's very condescending. Most girls follow hair washing by doing their hair up in pins or curling rods. Curling this rods, like those time. pink ones. Since damp hair is more elastic the dollar store. than dry hair, and you'll find it easier to manage. Mahari, thank you for the fine lawyers. Every two weeks is base. You've been psyops by big shampoo. Damage your hair. However, the use of strong dyes or bleaches is very likely to make the hair brittle. Brittle hair, in turn, is liable to break off in larger quantities than you care to lose. Yeah, you can tell when some people like brush their hair, or not brush their hair, uh, or dye their hair too much. Daily care, your hair should be methodically combed and brushed. That's like, that's like the one thing that like, people talk about that like, I can actually like, understand. Epic Nighting, my lord, when your hair squeaks, you've successfully stripped your hair of all oils. But be oh. careful that brushes and combs are not used so as to tear your hair or dig at your scalp. Careful brushing not only- I, I heard this was good that you want to use like a brush with like the thicker bristles and stuff because like you want to you want to like massage the scalp, you know? It gets rid of dust and dirt which may be clinging to the scales, but increases the luster of your hair by- Oh my god. AMG man 101. Hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. Pip is always doing weird things. You responding to my chatters by name? Are you singling them out by name? Don't talk to my chatters. I'm gonna separate you two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate. I'm gonna separate Papa Kin and Chad. This is not, this is not okay. You guys are not allowed to talk to each other. I, 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 don't, I don't know how I feel about this. This is weird. He was chosen. He was chosen. He was singled out by Papa Kin. What the hell? <laughs> Talk to it now, slightly blue. Oh my god. Also, I'm not always doing weird things. Spreading out its Sometimes oil. I'm playing video games. Ha -hoo! A small amount of hair always comes out during a brushing. That is normal. Yeah, how come we don't, like, run out of hair? Like, if you brush your hair, like, every day, how do you not, like, run out of hair? Because hair, like, always comes out of your scalp. Like, do new- does new hair, like, grow, like, as fast as your old hair? Like... Like, grow, like, faster than your old hair to be, like, the same length as your new hair? Like, how does that happen? How come- how co like, if you brush your hair a lot, how come- like, does, does your hair not just, like, stay short? But there's, like, some people- there's, like, some people- like, Shyla, like, posted her hair, right? And her hair is, like- her hair was, like, down to her knees. But, like, how is that possible? I do anything, Dolores. It's father-son time. Pippa, don't be greedy. Shut up! It varies in length. Pippa, did you graduate? What do you mean, did I graduate? Infinite hair works. I took moonlighting, Dolores. I did run out. Oh, I'm sorry. You have lots of hair. But, like, 
enough hair to be like constantly regrowing it? Hold on. Because like if you take your hair, like there's a lot of it, right? But you can like see the strands and stuff. So how come you can't see like the shorter strands from like after you brush your hair a bunch? Like if you brush your hair like every day for like a week and then you don't. Can you see like the difference in length between the old hair and the new hair? Sergeant Rock, they have the 50 get baby! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Mount Leo's D, thank you for Lord's. Your favorite video games are the ones that you can idly play. You don't play video games, you watch them play themselves. Shut up. Shut the hell up. I play video games. I play video games, alright? Don't you even start with me. Oh, this is a drawn out hair joke. Shut up. Cannibal small causing your doors. Pull out every hair and count them. There's a lot. Okay, bet. Daniel's here, I think, with Dolores. Papakin love over Gary's love. Papakin is beast. Oh my god. Name 20 video games then. Okay, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver, uh, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Ruby, Pokemon Sapphire, Pokemon Emerald, <laughs> Pokemon... They say Pokemon Emerald already. Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon. Wait, Poke Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon Soul Silver, Pokemon fucking um X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, Pokemon Black Two, Pokemon White Two. <laughs> yeah, Papa Kid just said Pokemon Go. Your brother Rock'em Sock'ems is saying you're being mean. Stop. You can't tell me what to do. I don't live with you anymore. You can't tell me what to do. This is my stream. This is my stream. You know what? Rock'em Sock'ems, fuck you in particular. Huh. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Eating Mike Tyson's ass and come to pee pee. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said 20 different franchises. Okay. Okay. Watch this. Pokemon. Digimon. Bakugan? Fucking, uh, Monster Rancher? Temtem? Pal World? Yeah, Beyblade? Is that a physical, like, is that, is that, is that a game? Is that, is that like a video game? Every single Pokemon game? Natural hair beauty is possible if you take care of your hair and make the most of what nature has given you. That's seven, Pippa. You Do you guys actually- Hold on, watch this, watch this. I can list out 20, I can list 20 games, Chad. I can list 20 games. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Okay, Pokemon. We're starting off with the classics. We're starting off with the classic. Okay, Pokemon, Mari Mario, Tetris. Fucking Dr. Mario? Or does it have to be like different? You guys said different franchise. Um, Kirby? <laughs> I typed that Kershaw at first. <laughs> Kirby? Fucking yeah. Zelda? Metroid? Um, Kid? Icarus? Hold on, my eye's burning. Oh god. Oh god, I touched my eye. Ah! Yeah. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, since cutting five dollars. Hey, Papa Kim, we're cooking bratwurst over the campfire tomorrow. You win, Pops. Got beer too. Don't invite my father to bratwurst eating. Tag the team five thousand bonds. Ultimate Chaos Rabbit. We want this. Okay, okay. Minecraft. Roblox. Um. What are other games? Champions! Uh, hold on, Papakin's sending more messages. That's it, I'm coming in November to stop you from picking on your kin. I love brats. Like you love brat worse? Don't say I love brats, it has weird connotations on the internet nowadays. Yeah! Final Fantasy? Um... Phasmophobia? Phasmophobia? Among Us? Uh, fucking... 
What's that pirate one? That Summit 1G used to play? Chat, what's the pirate one? It's... Puzzle Pirates. It's not Puzzle Pirates. Sea of Thieves! Sea of Thieves? I played this recently. It's an alright game. Um... Um... Are we at 20 yet? You're struggling, shut up. Dead space? Alien isolation? Uh, freaking uh, Outlast? I'm naming all the streamer games now. Um... Assassin's Creed? Freaking Pets? Freaking uh, Sims? Bro, this is so many. And yeah, none of them are none, none, none of them none none of them are mobile games, dude. Yeah, Faith the Unholy Trinity. That's twenty. Yeah, there's so many, dude. Uh, Castle Puncher, thank you for the ten dollars. This is for Papa King. No, it's not. Carbonated pissing come with the You can't use CFD. Chat told you that one. Not a true gamer. Okay, I'll name another pirate game then. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online. Okay, Melvin Burke Hopper thing delights. Most of these are games for actual children. You didn't clarify. Teeth too. To keep them always sparkling. Dumb tangent. Healthy, We're going back to the video. First, select a toothbrush that meets the approval of most dentists. Here are two such brushes. Okay. Short. This one only has two bristles. I've never seen a two wide bristle toothbrush before. What the hell? Straight, with a plain brush head about one inch long. There may be two or three rows of tufts sufficiently interspaced to allow easy cleaning. These are weird brushes. To keep the bristles in best work- I've got one of those brushes that it like, it like, it like vibrates. And it's on like a little circle thing. So it like, it's like... What's the word? Like oscillates? The seal boy thing with the $2? Can Papa Ken be my dad since mine died? Well, how did yours die? Did you, like, kill him or something? Or did you just, like, die of cancer? Or did, like, he kill himself because he couldn't bear the fact that you're his child? Death Rolling Company 3. Do you remember the first game they ever played? My first game ever was Dig Dug. 1982. Um... I don't know. I feel like my earliest memories are Pokemon Blue. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe Yoshi's Island? It's a valid question. It's a valid question. Where is range day at? What do you mean, where's range day at? Also, he says, thanks, castle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Range day. I don't know. I don't know. We can have range day whenever. In condition, use a different brush after every meal. Allowing... Oh, I got invited to do, like, a, a range day with some other creators. But, like... I, I haven't- I haven't opened the invite, cause I'm like... How do I- how do I process this? Like, they know that- they, they know I'm a VTuber, right? Each brush to dry thoroughly before it is used again. The technique of using one of these simple little instruments is best learned individually from your own dentist. If food particles become wedged in the teeth- Look, he's flossing, chat. Don't forget to brush, floss. Dental floss is often helpful. Ordinary toothpicks and other hard objects are apt to damage your gums. Care of the teeth, however, requires I got more than No daily Cabela's training. fake fan. <gasps> Bro, I had Cabela's. I had I had the Cabela's big game hunter. And I'm a documenting from Lords. You dang kids and your Mario's and your Carbies and your Super Smash em brothers back in my day. Everybody needs periodic checkups. Not only for professional tooth cleaning. This is terrifying. But also to show up cavities I'd, and other I don't. I don't think I'd go to the dentist if if it, if it all looked like this anymore. I don't. I don't think I could do it. they become too far developed. I think I'm and good. So, the end of a perfect. If my dental office looks like the refrigerator that gets left behind in a double wide, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going. A few minutes in the morning and evening and occasional checkups during the day are all you need to establish and keep up good grooming habits. They didn't explain watch the pee, pee They did not. And you, by following these simple rules of body care and grooming, they also used metal you fillings. achieve that quality of appearance, <laughs> that feeling of well-being, 
so important to make your dreams of happiness Weight reduction true. through diet. Keeping clean and neat. Oh, 1956. 1956. I wonder how much it changed. If this is still mostly the same, I'm just gonna click off of it. But I'm curious, I'm curious... Oh god, you guys, you guys gotta know, the mental health one has to be wild. The mental health one has to be fucking wild. Potato radioing for Lords. To lose one parent may be regarded as misfortune. To lose both looks like carelessness. Oscar Wilde. Papakin says Donut Operator is a great channel. Papakin has good taste. Class, this is John Anderson and Arlene Beal from the eighth grade. They want to choose a boy and a girl from this class to be in their assembly. Oh. All right, put your yeah, hands a down. boy and a girl. You mean you mean I'm gonna have to stand next to a uh, 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 girl? You can be sure of one thing: it won't be anyone who isn't clean and neat. That's because keeping clean and neat is something everyone is expected to do. Also, we and hate the smelly poor clean. kid. It's important to your health and to the health of those around you. Don may feel that he looks neat enough. Bro, how much hair gel did you use? What the hell? <laughs> Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog up. hair. Holy so let's shit. Go back to the start of the day and see what we can do. Bro. There you are, Don. Back in bed this morning. First of all, Form the habit of getting up in plenty of time. Scarfing, fiddlers, wear a burka and, and sunglasses to range day will be perfect anonymity. And letting them work for you. Now don't stall. If you lie in bed so long that you have to rush, how can you expect to be neat and clean? Yeah, you, you guys better be tough. Does anybody else ever, like, just lay in bed for, like... Until, like, five minutes before you have to leave? <laughs> up is 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 laying there trying to get some more like like rest not like sleep rest but like the that's a bad habit shut up of course is a daily bath in summer or in winter when you're less hot and sweaty every other day will do make it a shower or a tub whichever you like morning or night it doesn't matter just so you keep yourself clean remember your ears they need a soapy washcloth When you wash your feet, be sure to get between your toes and the bottom of your feet. Yeah, wash your feet, Chad. fingernail brush handy for your nails. You're not clean if your fingernails aren't. God, I could never do that, Chad. I don't want to pause on the naked Henry, child. The soap off. Um, I could never, I could never, like, they have, like, the little bristle brush things, but I just, I just can't. Time. I just can't. Eh. Ah! There you go. And here's Hold another on. habit. Wash your hair on the same day each week. Day, Saturday, whichever day you choose. Well, they're saying just one day a week. Use a good shampoo or soap and rub in the lather with your fingers, not your fingernails. Lather <laughs> up twice with a rinse in between. Yeah. Hold on. And after the second lather, when your hair is perfectly clean, rinse again. Keep rinsing till every bit of soap is out. There. Feels good, doesn't it? Give yourself yeah. a good rub down with the towel until you're completely dry. Now before you brush your hair, be sure your comb and brush are clean. Wash them the day you wash your hair. Beautiful jelling with some noise. Hi, Peppa. Uh, it's been a while. Hope you're doing good. Take care, little Peppa. Thank you, thank you. I go well recalling to Lars, a crew. I had to film now. that little boy bathing. I'm sure he had on, like, undergarments. Again until lunch. I'm sure he had One on, like, back. undergarments, okay? Before you leave the bathroom, see that it's neat and clean, too. Towel and washcloth hung up to dry. Cap back to the shampoo. Shampoo. Bathtub clean. Basin clean. I send this bit of dizzy. I don't know. I don't know like how you keep like the shower clean. Like does that make sense? Like it feels like 
no matter what you do, there's just like impossible impossible oh, bleach jesus christ there's just like impossible like edges to clean and i just don't i just don't get it with chemicals you have to scrub i don't know i don't know and maybe it's because i buy like well i don't buy maybe it's because i like rent kind of crappier houses like the bathtub is always like discolored and it's like, I don't, is it on me to clean that? Can you clean that? Can it, can, can that color, like, disappear? The keto thing with the $2, why is everyone in this video white? I don't, I don't know, why the fuck are you asking me? It was made in, in 1956. Code thing on the $10, I literally used to use a hair gel that works super well on my hair every day. Two weeks later, I found out it was shampoo on the bottle label when it began to burn my scalp! Oh dear. Yes. Everything is put away. Now Chris cold. Collectibles thing with five dollars. Just curious, how many hours a week do you spend being a VTuber, and how long did it take to get to where you are now? Thank you. You inspire me. How many hours a week do I spend being a VTuber? Well, I I try to stream a minimum of five days a week for three hours. Um, and then because I'm part of a company, there's stuff that I got to do like behind the scenes that like accompanies my VTuber stuff. Um. I don't know. I don't know. And how long did it take? I mean, this channel is two years old, question mark? A little bit older? But I've been at it for like... A very, very long time. Many, many years. Comfy chair thing with two dollars. Nikita? Well, oh my god. Okay. Your underwear should be just as clean as you are. Clean socks. But look at those shoes. They need to be... How often do you guys wash shoes? Clean and shine. What you need is the shoe shine kit. Oh my god, it's already 11.30. There you are. What the hell you is that? You can one like this yourself, you know. That's Bro. better, isn't it? Be sure the top is back on the polish. Bro. Now to finish dressing. Never. Uh-oh. That's no way to treat your clothes. That's what my if bathroom floor looks like. Again, hang them up. Fold the trousers neatly. See, my mentality is, is I don't need to, like, buy, like, a bathroom rug or, like, throw a towel down on the floor or whatever. I can just use my clothes, right? Like, the clothes are dirty. So if I put them on the ground, right? And then after I get out of the shower, I just walk on the clothes? Like, they keep the water from, like, touching the floor, bro. ...over a hanger. You wear cheap clothes? Huh, actually! Actually! My clothes are... were probably very expensive at one point, alright? I shop at Goodwill. Perfectly Satan, cultist, and gum big bippy. Washing shoes is a thing, they'll just get dirty again, that's what I'm saying. Put the shirts on hangers, too. Hang them up in your closet. Look at that closet! Before you do another thing, Get busy and straighten it if up. If I just dry off in the tub? I do, but there's still water! Out. I remember, I used to dry off outside of the tub, because that's what they do in, like, movies and stuff, right? But then one time, I left the bathroom floor really wet, and Mama Kim was like... Mama Kim was like, I don't understand how the, the floor is always so wet after you take a shower. You're not like, you're not like, a, you're not like an idiot that like, uh, shower, uh, that's like drying themselves off after they get out of the freaking shower or whatever, are you? And I was like... No? Background noise of the $2 school started an hour ago for this kid. True. Papakin I'm saying true. It. But if you learn the habit of keeping it neat, you'll never have to go through anything like Oh, they cut off. Now then, a clean shirt, and you're ready to take a look at yourself. You lied to Mama Kin? Yes. Face, ears, and neck. He looks so angry. Clean. Cuffs button. Clean hands. Nails. Does he have like trim. pen stains on his Shirt hands? Tucked in. Belt through all the loops. You always Trouble make a water mess. Zip. Shut up, Papa Ken. Shut up. Cuffs Nobody asked up. you. Nobody shoe asked you. And Listen, that's because that's because I wasn't allowed to just leave my clothes on the floor in the bathroom. But now, now I have a genius invention where it's called throwing your clothes on the floor and letting them sop up the water. 
Joe Schmo, thank you for the 10 gift PPs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Quite a bit better than the Pumpkin's right. Shut up. This morning. Now, how about you, Mildred? Let me know what habits will help you keep me. <laughs> That's a <clean>. dumb name. <laughs> you need a weekly shampoo, too, of course. Girls have to wash their hair in the afternoon or evening, so there's time to put it up. Don't. What? Jack Grilling, but Lars Pippa, please tell me you at least wipe after you. What the fuck? Yes, I do. I got noise in dollars. Kid forgot his rifle. Rookie mistake. Sergeant Proc. Jesus Christ, Sergeant Proc. Thank you for the 50 get PPs again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus Christ, man. Is it because you're so grateful I've taught you how to clean yourself? Sketch therapy, thank you for dollars. Share your kin. Your papa kin. He's a free agent now. You gone. What the hell? Go to bed with wet hair. Putting up your hair is something you have to learn. And Going to bed with wet hair is like such a, like... How do I describe this? It's like kind of a fun experience, right? Because it's like, if you sit like still enough... Well, not like sit still. But like lay still enough, like your hair like kind of glues to the pillow a bit. And then when you like lean forward, it like... Is like, it's like, it's like attached to the pillow. Sideways, anyone fun dollars. Legit question, would you entertain the possibility of a Popakin off collab in November when he said he'll visit? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Everyone does it differently. I don't it like that feeling. You You're silly. You may oh my god. Get help from your mother on this. What the hell? This is a good time to trim your fingernail. Make a habit of doing it Bro. the day you wash your hair. Bro. Boys like to use fingernail clippers. But girls can shape them better ah! with an emery board. I can't use this. I can't. I can't use this. This is like sandpaper, Chad. This is like sandpaper, and you put it on your nails, and it's uncomfortable. And see that little sore place where you pulled away ah! the skin? Ah! Next time, ask your mother to cut it, and you won't have a sore place like ah! that. Ah! In a glass file? Don't what? forget your toenails. After a bath is a good time to cut them because they're softer then. Oh cut God! Them straight across and not rounded like fingernails. Bro, just peel them off. If you just peel them off, you don't have to clip them. Oh, Mildred. Look at your clothes. Why, that's as bad as Don was. Not like, you don't like peel your toenail entirely longer. off. You just like, Things peel like the tips off. Wear again should be folded and put away. Make sure there are no wrinkles in it when you fold it. And that dresser drawer. You'd better straighten it out this very minute. It looks fine. Bah. I'm down to come on the stream. Oh, there we go. Popkin off collab confirmed. Uh, building with 50 Mexicans. When are the Face Connect parents debuting? I want to see collabs and like ship Popkin and Leah's mom. Is neat, My father is clean. married. Thank you. Isn't it nice to climb into bed? What is with you guys and shipping? Are you teenage girls? Daniel Searling, for dollars, back in my day, I used to clean slash polish my shoes. Now my shoes would break so fast, I would have to have them tied with electrical tape. How times change. Yes, shut up. I've seen my demographics. No, you're not. Highly enjoyed building for dollars. Since it's still spooky month, could you convince Tenma to suffer the jump scare game of all time and put her heart medication to good use? A co-op run of Doom 3 to watch her cower in fear would be fun. You gotta go ask Tenma that. Sure your under things are clean. He can marry two people, Peppa. This isn't fucking Utah or whatever, okay? No, you can't. Your shoes should go on over clean socks. And take a look at your shoes. Are they as neat as they should be? I feel like... I feel like you can rewear socks as long as, like, they're not, like, brown or yellow on the bottom, right? Like, you don't need to change socks every single time. Or wash your socks, like, every single time. Before you put on your dress, it's a good idea to brush your hair. Be sure you wash your dead? brush. Don't put a dirty brush on clean hair. Brush. Yep. No! No!
Wake me up, bitch. I can't wake up. Wake me up, bitch. I hate me. Take me from this copy right up. You wake me up. Take me up, bitch. I can't wake up. Wake me up, bitch. Take me. Take me from the copy right up. You. Da 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 da. Free me, motherfucker! It's not too late. We're back. Hello. Mama Ken says she still misses me, wet floor and all. Ah. 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 Come, baby, baby. We're so back. We're so back, bros. We're so back. We're so back. Okay. Okay. Let's move away from the videos. War child and come beep beep. Thank you, thank you. Don't want to miss you. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, pass the saucer. Thank you for the hundred dollar. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I can't believe I got copyright struck on a fucking, um, video from the 1950s. How does that make any sense? Damn it, Neil! Daniel Huckabone, thank you for the hundred dollar dollars! Bond Walter here, your hygiene stuff is actually some of my favorite content. I had a really rough time several years back, and you and I seem to have responded to depression in a similar fashion. Makes me feel less lonely, much better now thanks for stuff like this. No problem. No problem. I think. Knowing is half the battle. And being reminded. You know, I think like knowing knowing is like 25% of the battle, and then being reminded is like another 25%. And then just doing it is like the other 50%. Daddy Dadga Dagda? Thank you for the two dollars? But is Popkin happily married? I don't know, that's an, that's a question for Popkin. Popkin, are you happily married? Hello, Donning Doors. Here's a little something for the suspension. Thank you. Thank you. G.I. Joe! Nixie Turnus and Gumby Popakin! Popakin! Popakin had these... freaking G.I. Joe dollars. I thought they were so cool. But they were like in box. I wasn't allowed to play with them or anything. Uh, finally done with 14 months of 17 hour days between school and work. Glad to finally be able to catch the dipkin again. That is an absurd amount of stuff. Jesus Christ. Dolls. Sorry! Okay, action figures! Whatever! Is there anything you can get pee pee? Thank you! Mama Kin says, yes he is. Go away, you little shit. Papa Kin says, yes I am. You cannot have my father. Triptych thing or gum big You never mentioned using deodorant in your routine. Okay, I remember this one anon talking about like aluminum in your deodorant. So I brought up an article about it, but we haven't gotten to that yet. George Warding or the 1399 can't keep a based rabbit down loving the stream so far. Glad the fun can continue. That's right, that's right, Anon. That's right, Anon that talked about there being aluminum in deodorant. And it it causing dementia. I remember you. I remember you and your posts. Isn't Pokemon DMCA? I don't know. Uh, spring cleaning, hygiene, and colonial times. 
Oh. Let's make fun of some yanks. All right. Thank you for DDM volume picks. You're welcome. Ah, spring. A new beginning, new possibilities. Let's start fresh with a good bath. Wash the winter off of our bodies, dress in fe freshly laundered clothes, and... Wait, what? You shower every day, no matter the season? You always have clean clothes! Both of these are lies. This is no big deal! Ah, 21st century people, you surely are. Certainly not 18th century American colonials. For them, a bath was a huge ordeal, and the population didn't know the meaning of hygiene. Body odor was a fact of life, forever wafting from the skin and deeply embedded in the clothing. Melvin Markle, Hop Melvin Markle Hopper, thing with a $5. Papakin, do you like... Oh my god. Papakin, do you like AR rifles, AKs, or FALs best? This is a really important question. Okay, anyways. Can you picture the fancy silk shirt and velvet coat of a gentleman? And the beautiful silks, brocades, and damasks worn by the ladies of fashion in the mid-1700s? Try to imagine these graceful garments in a perpetually non-laundered state being worn by unwashed bodies and, well, you get the PARTY OUT! OBVIOUS! Quigzy, thank you for the $20. Radium Skin Cream Fun, good night, thank you! Sideways, thank you for the $2. Can't wait for Popkin to bury chat, stop asking. Okay, anyways. Where was I? You interrupted me! You interrupted me! Um... Of course, there were accessories too, like the all-important lace handkerchief. That itty-bitty piece of lavender-scented material daintily brought to the nose to hide the stench coming from fellow colonials. Why the stink? There were a few reasons. Highest on the list was the thought of the time period. It was believed that washing removed important oils from the skin, which left the person vulnerable to disease. So really, the colonials thought it was unhealthy to bathe. I can only say I'm glad we've evolved beyond that train of thought. Once in a while, those th ah, those in that generation would wash their hands or face, but everything else, not so much. Is, it, is this really true? Is this really true? I don't know. I don't know. Colonials were on some shit. Mid-Atlantic colonials might have bathed three or four times a year. New Englanders, on the other hand, may have only accomplished a body wash once a year. Kersha! It was too cold to slip into a tub more often than not in their climate. One can only imagine the smell inside a Boston tavern. Our meeting hall has... Our meeting hall has all the patrons had heated discussions on such life-changing ideas as independence from England. I can picture those hankies waving about in fervor of the times. But we all know what those hankies were really doing. However, even if they were like us today and wanted a daily bath, it would have been arduous. Time-consuming ordeal. We jump in the shower with this handy-dandy indoor plumbing with temperature-controlled running water. We use all the scented products on the market to help us along with the task. Step out and towel off. We get dressed in our clean clothes and go about our lives. Back then, though, it began with preparing a fire, filling tubs of water from the nearest water source, be it a well, stream, or river, etc., and lugging them to the fire to heat. When warm, the heavy tubs had to be lugged again, this time to the washing vessel. It took a few hours to get that point to get to that point alone. Oh, and was the bathing area private? Most likely not. Now that could be an uncomfortable and compromising situation. If they were lucky enough to have some harsh homemade lye soap available, they used it. If not, just the water would have to do. After bathing, they used some linen or whatever other piece of material they had to dry off. No fancy Egyptian luxury cotton or Peruvian Pima cotton towels hung in their bathroom. Heck, they didn't even have a bathroom. Bathing was a family fair. Wait, on the topic of not having a bathroom, have you guys ever been inside of like old houses? Like old family homes and stuff? And like the bathrooms outside? Have you guys been in those? Those are crazy. Those are crazy. And there'll be like no floorboards and stuff. Bathing was a family affair. The standard practice was the men of the house bathed first, followed by the women and then the children. By the time the baby was put into the tub, the, the, the water was so dirty and mercury that don't throw the baby out with the bath water was a warning to be taken literally. After all this, the water tub had to be hauled away and dumped. But the deed was done and the person or the family was, to a point, clean. At least until they got dressed in the same dirty smelling clothes. Laundry day was another laborious task that would be beyond our patience in this day and age. But the colonial American way of washing clothes is a subject for another day. Tycoon Raccoon and Dollars New England smelling like a melee tournament, yeah. Freaking, freaking Yankee smelling like, smelling like a Yu-Gi-Oh, like a Yu-Gi-Oh club after school gathering. And it's, 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 it's shut up. The 19th century!
again to read Daily Environment. So we're going from 18th to 19th. And we already did 20th. This is a marathon from Fundlars. Pippo, this entire article is blatantly false. Bathing a couple times a year is a myth. It's been debunked many times. But like... For New Englanders? For filthy, stinky New Englanders? In, in, in the 18th century? Yeah, prove it, Anon. Prove it, Anon. This is Befriend the Past. The Friends of Grain Park. They're in Pennsylvania. Look at these people. Graham, oh, Graham Park is a 42-acre historic park featuring the Keith House, the only surviving residence of a colonial Pennsylvania governor. The mansion has remained virtually intact since the late 18th century. A visit to Graham Park is nature trails, a picnic lunch, and a visit with the politicians, physicians, patriots, loyalists, poets, and writers who frequented the Keith House. Are you- are you saying these people are wrong? This historical- this historical group is wrong? What the fuck? Okay. They're on some weird shit. Yes, this is propaganda. Well, it's propaganda that makes fun of Northerners, so it's based in my book. Okay, now let's listen about how Southerners are based and smell nice. Okay. Hmm. When visiting the Herman Grima and Gallier historic houses, one has the opportunity to view multiple 19th century bathing environments. Oh, Papakin. Or Mamakin. I like ARs with binary triggers and AK-104 models, and the FALs are cool too, but not my first choice. There you go, Papakin responded. Uh, at the line alpha, they were 2,500 clip arts. I remember the farmhouse and my aunt in the bathroom was crossing a small river, and you could see the 10... MTE's deep hole from the WC. Uh, hell, thank you for the $5. New Englanders in the 18th century. No, those dirty Yanks still don't bathe. True. True. Papakin coming in hot. My Yoshi Papakin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Papakin, um, explanation for chat saying based. Uh, so based means like they agree with you and you have the correct opinion, basically. Holy based Papakin. Based? Oh my god. ATF can go heck themselves. Papakin, my beloved. Armalite, my beloved. Based? Based on what? <laughs> Gnarly Bark. Gnarly Bark will sting, come big peepee. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Oh. James Jameson, thank you for $10. Can you buy Papakin some root beer for that base take? Oh my god. Back to this! <clears throat> Visitors often are puzzled after passing through the elegant first floor rooms of the Herman Grima house Herman Grima house when they are confronted with the bathing room. Uh not porn thing come big poopy. This room is evidence of a contrast between the primitive Northerners and the refined in nineteenth century New Orleans life. Yes, there is much beauty and elegance in the architecture, furnishings, clothing, and customs of the antebellum and Victorian worlds, but no well not all aspects of the Hermans and Grima's lives were equally as glamorous. It's not a right looking house. Kind of McDonald's color scheme. Especially on Rolling Dolores. Chat hijacks Pippa stream for Papakin film at 11. Oh my god. Papakin, how do you feel about colorists? He doesn't know what a colorist is. Imagine living through a Nor New Orleans light. Oh, fuck. I was like, I was like second guessing myself. Because like, they're, they're like, eh, it's not pronounced New Orleans. It's pronounced New Orleans. New Orleans. Whatever. Summer without being able to pop into a fresh... Fuck. There's anything come to be. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> a mad Narlins! Imagine living through a Narlins summer without being able to pop into a refreshing shower as desired. Imagine wearing layers of clothing and walking in filthy streets and living in houses with no air conditioning. Or even ceiling fans. That's not possible. No ceiling fans. But even the porches have ceiling fans here. As the ceilings usually held gasellias for indoor lighting, that was a fact of 19th century life. He's say anything, come pee pee. I like your happy sugar life profile picture. Desolars, thank you, Can you introduce Papakin to Colrus? No. With no sanitation systems in New Orleans in the 19th century, the open gutters and the streets served as a sewage system. All household waste went into these gutters. They smelled terrible and were swarming with mesqui mosquitoes and flies, and were a great contributor to the diseases of the period. Okay, well, this is New Orleans, so... Those people are gross, but Southerners in general, they all bathed. They were very based. The public water system was nearly as primitive, with river water running through wooden or iron pipes, mostly used to irrigate the street gutters. 
This water was not healthy to use for drinking, cooking, or bathing. Throughout most of the 19th century, the shortage of adequate water and sewage systems was the great obstacle to regular bathing. When Samuel Herman built his house in 1831, indoor plumbing was not an option. He requested a small room placed in the rear of the first floor. It has two exterior doors, one open to the back gallery in the courtyard. The Winchester House! Um, the Winchester Mystery House by Sarah Winchester of the Winchester Arms Manufacturing Company. Forget the actual name. Um, her house was built in... Oh dear. Was it... Late 1800s? And she had indoor plumbing. And her house was in California. Repeating arms. I saw everything with 121! Tell your parents... About... Listen! Listen! Okay, Mamakin, Papakin. I have to tell you something. I have, I have to tell you something. Um... Hold on. Hold on, I'm just going for a picture on my PC, but it's full of, like, Build-A-Bear and AI anime girls. Ah! 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 I thought it would be easier to bring up a picture. Oh dear. Oh, there's all the ducks. Oh dear. Okay, well, I'll... Oh, but that's all, like, fan art. I don't want to, like, show off fan art without... Like, permission from the artist. Um... Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is Colrus. He's from Pokemon, and he is my very real husband. And he is not at all fake, and I am not at all delusional. This is- this is very much- It looks a little pixelated here, but there's some, like, higher res art and stuff, and this is- and this is my husband, and- and- and we're legally married, and don't judge me. And my chat makes fun of me. They call him... They call him Ellen DeGeneres and they call him a lesbian, but he can't be a lesbian. He's a man. They also call him other words, but you won't... You won't know what those mean. Like femboy and twink. At least I hope you don't know what those mean. Anyways! The other open to the narrow alley! Wait. He requested a small room placed in the rear of the first floor. It has two exterior doors. One opens to the back gallery in the courtyard. The other one opens to the narrow alley between the house and the tall brick wall. The room likely never had carpeting or wallpaper. The two exteriors would allow water to be brought in and out of the bathing room without damage to interior surfaces. The room is spacious and light, though it may have been chilly in winter with no fireplace. As the Hermans and Grimas were wealthy families with a number of enslaved household staff, they could have the luxury of plunge baths, fully immersing themselves in water. Preparing a full bath was quite an ordeal and probably not undertaken more than weekly. Based, showering, bathing once a week, into worse. Water was taken from the cistern, heated over an open fire in the back courtyard, delivered to the large metal tub, perhaps lined with a linen sheet, to protect the body from the seams of the metal, by a bucket. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, I didn't know, I didn't know the linen. Like, I've seen, I've seen, like, cloth on bathtubs in, like, art and stuff before, and I didn't know that was to, like, protect from, like, the hot surface. Ah! Huh. This large tub would require a number of trips. The bath would not be steamy hot. That was not considered healthy. Especially for women. Hot baths were considered debilitating and might often lead to insanity! Until mid-19th century, the use of soap in the bath was uncommon and considered unnecessary. Most soap, made from tallow, was specifically for washing of clothes. Only the wealthy had access to the imported and expensive perfume toilet soaps. And yes, it's quite likely that the family shared the bathwater, with warm water being added as the bathing progressed. The finished bathwater would have been poured into a ditch in the alley beside the house to run into the street gutter. Babakin says dead on, Bahamut. I don't know what Bahamut said, I don't know if I want to know. Uh, the early part of the 19th century was a period of transition, where full bathing was considered not just a medical treatment, but also means to achieve cleanliness. A mark of moral superiority to better health amongst the middle and upper class. And here we can see this is a Victorian water can. Foot bath. Toilet pail. Ah. Uh, hip bath. Something bath. This is an advertisement for baths and toilet wear made by Edward Perry in 1868. This looks like a gold pan. Like a like a panning pan for gold. Gold panning. 
Uh, Nocturne, thank you for the $40, dude. I got a go, thank you for the stream. Thought the one catch streams for a while, but our work days are the same. Took my day off to watch now, though. You took a day off to watch me? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had fun. Um, and, and, and thank you for watching the VODs. Thank you, thank you. Mask Tanager, thank you for the $5. Poppy Kim, what's the best Gen 1 Pokemon starter? Settle us, settle it for us once and for all. I can know what that is. Pippa's ex-boyfriend, thank you for becoming a big pee-pee. Edwin or Lana, thank you for the $100 reduce. Pippa, invite your parents to dinner on me. Enjoy. You guys are weird. You guys are weird. Chad, I'm pretty sure Papa Ken can't need any more Pokemon than, like, Pikachu. Though even wealthy families did not take a full bath daily, they were not unclean. It was the custom for most people to wash themselves in the morning, usually a sponge bath with a large wash basin and a pitcher of water on their bedroom washstands. Women might have added perfume to the water. Men often liked a cold bath in the mornings, using a basin or smaller portable tub, followed by a brisk toweling off. It was the custom among the Krill people to provide a basin of fresh, cold water, soap, and towels for their guests, morning and night. In summer especially, sponge baths would have been taken as often as needed. Oh, a hot tub is an inter item of interest in the bathroom and the sleep quarters building at the Herman Ruma house. Oh, so this is like a tiny bathtub? One of the most asked about objects in the tours of the Herman Grima house is the unusual metal tub in the enslaved women's room. The shallow basin with a flare... with the... Oh, fuck! With flared edges and a small platform over, a drain is generally called a hat tub because of its shape. An illustration from an advertisement in 1868 shows the same tub lacking the soap dish, labeled Parisian sponging bath. One might imagine the user would sit on the platform, but it is more likely the bather would stand in the tub and use the platform for a pitcher of water. So the platform has a leg under the flared edge, sitting on it would be very precarious and require some agility. One might also sit on a stool or chair for the sponge bath, or use the tub as a medicinal foot bath. Papakin says, thank you, Edwin. I'll make her spend it when I go out there. Oh my god. Kiffelzinger Dolores, does this mean you'll finally shower? About time, shut up. Um, if used by an enslaved woman, it may have been used outdoors or in the kitchen. In some households, she may have been allowed to bathe in her room. Portable tubs would have been practical for daily sponge bathing, not requiring servants or enslaved staff to heat and haul the quantity of water required for a full plunge bath. Despite advances in sanitation systems and technology, the Grima family never updated the Herman Grima house with plumbing or electricity. Not until the 1920s, when the Christian Woman's Exchange purchased the house for use as a rooming house for working women, did the house become updated. A bathroom was installed on the second floor and another in the third floor attic. In the attic? What the fuck? Uh, where six modest rooms were added for the women. In 1859, almost 30 years after the Herman Grima house was built, James Galliard Jr. Com completed his family's home on Royal Street. Visitors will see a huge change in sanitary technology when visiting the Gallier house. Gallier included one of the first indoor bathrooms in New Orleans with hot and cold wa running water and a flushing toilet for his home. Wow. Well, the toilet seat lid is like... a big solid chunk. And it like... It's like all in one. What the hell? The bathroom at the Gallier house was considered very modern when it was built. Wow. That's really fancy looking. Like... I don't know, like it almost feels like... What you would expect like a rich person's bathroom to look like. But like... It's also like old looking. Like... Like a rich person's study. Like it has like that aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? Like I expect like a... Like a, like a globe. I expect like a globe made out of like... Solid gold. To be like sitting on the edge or something. And like... A box of Cuban cigars. Pippa's Papanties. Oh my god, they went too large. Crunch. Aesthetic. The Gallia's bathroom on the second floor of the house features a copper bathtub and painted porcelain toilet. It's painted? What? Oh my god, is that blue? Is that blue, the painting? Bro. Bro. <laughs> the fixtures are encased in walnut grained cabinetry, as was the fashion at the time. Cold water ran from the cistern in the attic, which was pumped daily from the large cistern in the courtyard. The cold water ran into the tub or toilet by gravity. The hot water was piped from the hot water heater attached to the kitchen range, and a constant supply of hot water was available when the range was in use. 
It was forced through lead pipes by steam! Oh dear. You're bathing in lead water. I guess at least you're not drinking it. There were also plumbed sinks in the kitchen and china pantry. One notices that there is no plumb sink in the bathroom. With four daughters in his household, Mr. Gallier may have imagined that continuing to use bedroom washstands with basins and pitchers for sponge bathing and feminine toiletries would be more practical. Always lead. Always lead. Heat vent to the left. Oh. Most pipes today are still lead. Are they? Went to Michigan water. A hip tub in the slave quarters. Oh, just a little bit more to this article. We'll finish this off. Although there were no city sanitation services, Gallier created a septic tank in his courtyard for the household water and waste to be retained. It was cleaned regularly by honey dippers who would visit the house between midnight and 4 a.m. to scoop out the septic tank in Privy and remove the waste to a nuisance wharf on the river. Oh my god. What do you do for a living? I'm a honey dipper. Oh, that sounds nice. So you work with bees? No. Raid master, they can find dollars. Papa kid, I will clean, cook, and care for Pippa. All he needs is your blessing. Shut up. And then just throwing shit into the river. What the fuck? In Lorette's room in the slave quarters is an excellent example of a hip tub. Portable tubs were still much in use in the late 19th century and onward. They were convenient, required less assistance for use. A hip tub would have allowed a more restful partial submersion than the sponge bath. One would squat in the tub or sit in it, as in using the bath... Using the hat tub. Some agility might be required to depart from the tub without overturning it. The tub would likely have been used in the kitchen. If used in the bedroom, toweling or a rug would be needed to protect the wooden floor. Despite the fact that Herman Grima and Gallia families and the enslaved people of their households did not have access to the bathing environments we are familiar with today, we can believe that they were still healthy and clean following the changing standards of socially acceptable hygiene of the 19th century. Mm. I give you my blessing? Papa Kid, no! Papa Kid, no! Do not encourage this shit! Mr. Yardley realized plumbing is the le from the Latin word for lead plumbum. What? Looks like Mesa thing, Valores. The trucks that take away um, waste from movie sets are still called honey wagons. Oh dear. Oh dear. Papa Kid! Papa Kid, do not encourage this. Okay. Um, it is already 12.06, so we're gonna- we're just gonna quickly... Summon hygiene myths. You should stop believing. You need to shower every day. While there are plenty of reasons why someone might choose to shower daily, such as personal preference, help waking up in the morning, or a regular work routine, workout routine, there's no health benefit to showering every day. In fact, showering too much can not, 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 ah, negatively impact your skin. It talks about, like, oil rouge and stuff. Uh, your hair should be washed daily. Like with showering, there's no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to shampooing. How much you should be washing your hair really depends on a number of factors like your hair type, activity level, and how oily your scalp is. Dun 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 dun! The best way to get rid of a pimple is to pop it! Don't do that! I'm not reading that one! Cotton swabs are a safe way to clean out earwax! While many regularly use cotton swabs to clean their ears, the truth is it's not safe. Using a cotton swab or Q-tip can actually push earwax further into your ear canal. Do not do it! Do not use... Do not use cotton swabs! Um... Though earwax can be annoying, uncomfortable, or itchy, it actually helps prevent the ear from getting too dry and protects it from harmful substances like dirt and bacteria. In most cases, it's unnecessary to clean out your ears, as earwax usually naturally moves to the outer ear and falls out on its own through chewing and other jaw motions. Sometimes, however, earwax can build up and may be too impacted to clear naturally. You experience symptoms such as feelings of fullness in ear, reduced or muffled hearing, earache, pain, fluid drainage, or discomfort, you should reach out to your primary care provider. Deodorants and antiperspirants do not cause breast cancer. Uh, the five second rule. This is actually very true. This is actually very true. Um, next time you go to get something off the ground, consider taking the safer route and throwing it away instead. Actually, you should just eat it because you're you're based in bacteria pilled and you're strengthening your immune system. Go eat dirt. Nadia Martinez, even two hundred dollars. What is Papakin's favorite car? Oh my god. Papakin, what's your favorite car? Uh, what to do about aluminum and deodorant and antiperspirant? Unlike antiperspirants, deodorants don't contain aluminum. There's no link between aluminum and cancer or most other health conditions. But those with severe kidney ailments shouldn't use antiperspirants. 
Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Deodorants deodorize and make sweat smell... ...ZZ. Antiperspirants make you sweat or perspire less. So there's a difference. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't expect to... I didn't expect to spend so long on everything. I thought I'd burn through all these. Uh, and I was gonna go through... I was gonna go through this, which tells you about, like... The dangers of, like, overcleaning. This is Elding for Doris. I kinda don't see anything wrong with liking Colrus. I'm more than certain there are a few people here who are... Who crushed hard on Misty back when they were nine. Part two? I might have to do a part two. I might... I might have to do a part two. I was gonna show you guys. There's, like, um... Oh, that's the thing for Doris. Papa can make sure she actually eats a decent full meal and not, like, half a bag of chips. Oh my god. I was gonna show you guys that there's, like... There's, like, um... There's lots of channels and stuff you can you can check out. There's like um Ah fuck. Oh god, now I'm blinking on the name. Hair Shalon. Hair hair myths. There's like this one ironically bald guy. I don't think he's bald ironically, but he's like a he's a hairstylist and he's bald and he has a YouTube channel. And he does like all of his filming like actually in his hair salon. So you know he actually has one and he's not just like some random chick on like TikTok or whatever telling you not to brush your hair when it's wet because oh my god it'll damage it now he's like an actual hairstylist um hair stylist brush hair when wet he's like he's like an actual here he is here he is i think you guys would like him this is why i'm recommending him um he does like a lot of woman's hair stuff but a lot of this stuff is like stuff that applies in general. Like it's it's teaching you about like the different types of shampoos and there's like he does like hair mists and stuff. I just I, I figured like this would be I figured I figured this would be more interesting for you guys than than like generic hair care channel. They're celebrating super milestones beyond the first. I have no idea. Sideways and dollar side for derailing so much, Pippa. We love you. Oh my god hair to stay clean for days. It just stays flat and greasy, which makes it really hard to style or work with. They're wondering if it's them or their shampoo. This is a channel. Blue Watch Professor. Slave to greasy hair. And luckily the answer is no. Even the greasiest hair can stay fresh and clean for days. You just need the right washing technique and the right shampoo. But first, I need He teaches you about like cleaning your hairbrush, routine for clean gym hair, um, how to pick the right shampoo. I think he might actually have like a separate channel specifically for men or something. Maybe I'm misremembering. But um, yeah. Or maybe it's just the videos are like broken up into parts. I don't know. But yeah. You like this hairbrush cleaning video? He's a pretty cool channel. I recommend him. And yeah, here's the one how to properly clean your brushes. But yeah, if you're curious about something, what I would recommend is just going on here. You click this little magnifying glass, and you're like... Um... Um... What's like, what's like a question? You watch him a lot? I don't watch him a lot, but like, I've learned some basic helpful stuff from him. Um... I misread locks. Thank you, Grams, for the two dollars. Split ends. Okay, split ends. I've been split ends. What to do with split ends? Repairing split ends with Olaplex. How to get rid of split ends. Hair product tutorials. How to mend split ends. Wait, a bunch of these are du duplicating. Um, the secret to fixing oily and dry hair. Yeah. Yeah. Top three habits that damage hair. It's just, it's just a helpful channel. It's just a helpful channel. Uh, Papakin says... Did you hear they found a new species of bees that create milk? They're called boobies. What? What? <laughs> is this a cup size joke? Jesus Christ. I like rat rods and suicide slabs, but I like Mopar too. I had a 68 Barracuda and a GTX growing up. I don't know what these words mean. I don't, I don't know what these words... LaMouse? Shut up, chat. Don't laugh at his jokes. Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. He's funny. Pippa, reread it. No. 
No, I'm pretty sure I get it. I'm oh, oh, oh boo, boo, bee, bees, like bees, and the Jesus Christ. Uh, I had a sixty-nine barracuda. Something. I missed your comment. Oh my God, hilarious comment of gold. Uh, uh, hey, how about that airline food? Tell me a funny joke. Okay, Pupkin. Pupkin, listen to this one. You're not gonna believe this. My joke is way funnier than yours. Alright, watch this, watch this. Hmm. Hmm. A guy walks into a bar. Did you get it? Did you get it? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the text message where you say that you get it. Can I get the Miss Super Chat list, please? Unless it's too long, in which case I will not read it. Don't throw tomatoes at me, chat. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Hey, Mike Tyson, that thing with the other guy ducked. What? God damn it. Oh god, and it's so awkward too with the silence. Publican says, I want to hear the best knock knock joke in the world. Are you saying you have a knock knock joke you want to tell me, or you want to hear me tell the best knock knock joke in the world? Because while you're texting me the funniest knock knock joke in the world, I'm going to tell you the funniest knock knock joke in the world. Okay. But with stream delay, it's gonna be- it's gonna take a little while, so I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna do your part for you. Right? Oh, he says, do you want to hear the best knock-knock joke? Yes, I want to hear the best knock-knock joke. Tell me the best knock-knock joke, but hold on, I'm gonna do mine first. But you can- you can still send it, because I'll be... telling mine by the time the stream delay. Yeah, anyways, okay. Okay, here's my knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Uh... Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. <laughs> Banana who? Knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Okay, now tell me yours, Papa Kid. <laughs> now tell me yours. Tell me your joke. Tell me your joke. It's not gonna be as funny as mine, but you can you can still tell me. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. Thank you. Mahamani runs dollars. What do you call a pig lumberjack? A pork chop! Oh my god. Epic failing, but Lord. Somebody tried to tell me why did the chicken cross the road joke. I told them those jokes are... FOUL! Puffetan, I'm waiting on you to tell me the knock-knock joke! I'm waiting! Knock-knock! Knock-knock, pumpkin! Oh! Okay, ready? You want to hear the best knock-knock joke in the world? Yes! I want to hear the best knock-knock joke in the world. Tell me. Knock-knock! Knock-knock! there? Why did you text me who's there? Oh, wait. Oh, no, you're supposed to say knock knock. I'm supposed to say who's there. Wait. I'm getting my joke formula mixed up. Okay, I say who's there. You say knock knock. I say who's there. <laughs> you said knock knock, Lil Hal. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, Papa Kid, Papa Kid. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> pop again, pop again. Say knock knock. <laughs> I don't always tell dad jokes, but when I do, he laughs. Oh, that's me. That's me. 
<laughs> no wonder you suck at jokes. Shut up! Shut up! An Irishman walks out of a bar! <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the joke. You turn it... You turn it on the other person. What? What? That's the joke? You turn on... Wanna hear the... You want? Do you want to hear the best knock-knock joke? In the world? Okay. Wait, what? You have them start. I was played. <gasps> <gasps> what evil sorcery is this? What the hell? I'm gonna I got I'm gonna use this on everyone. I'm gonna see if this actually works. I'm not dumb! I'm not dumb! I, I, that's how the joke is supposed to work! What the hell? <gasps> what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that work? Chad, seriously, how did that work? <laughs> Cody Byerly with Lars Knock Knock. Who's it? Hold on. Knock Knock! Who is there? Dwayne! Dwayne who? Dwayne the tub! I'm drowning! <laughs> Shut up. I'm pretty sure I read that exact joke in a in a book of Looney Tunes jokes. Uh Daddy Dadgla, then you were the two dollars, a blind man walks into a bar and again and again. <laughs> Did I say anything about Lars? I can't wait to see Pippa use this joke and butcher the delivery from the get go every time. <laughs> Okay, okay, so it'd be like, it'd be like, do you want to hear the best knock knock joke in the world? And they'd be like, okay, and then I'd be like, okay, you start. And they'd be like, knock knock, and I'd be like, ah! I don't think any of my collab partners for this week are still watching the stream. <laughs> I know how I'm starting out every single collab this week. But how many of my the best knock knock joke is clearly a pregnant clown? What? What? I still don't get it. The, the joke is that you tricked them into starting the joke, but then but then you can't continue the joke because they started the joke. Because the formula of knock-knock jokes is you say knock-knock and they say, who's there? And then you say uh, 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 the starter and then they say, starter who? And then you deliver the punchline. Knocked up. Devil's anger delights. Three Germans walk into a bar. You need the drum room shot sound. Instead of Hong Kong, it's... What? They say knock knock and you say who there and they, they realize they've been had. <laughs> ah! Oh god. Oh god, what a dumb stream. Paradoxical luck thing about the largest. Two men see a dog licking its private. The first man says to the second, I wish I could do that. The other man says, you should try petting him first, says the other. What? Oh. Oh no. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Okay. Two men see a dog licking its privates. The first man says to the second, I wish I could do that. You should try petting him first, says the other. You're sick. You're sick in the head. I'm gonna use that one on Lumi. It's long. It's a long super chat list. I am not catching up with the super chat list tonight. I will, I will catch up with it on a non-root canal day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Buy the dog a drink first. Yeah, you whore. It's for stream go rest. She hates us. I had a root canal. Leave me alone. A white woman joke. You have a root canal? Yeah, it's a canal full of roots. Ha ha. Oh my god. Say goodnight to Popkin, chat. Say goodnight to Popkin. Dad. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. My name's Pipkin Pippa. Like blind alpha thing with those of on a cool Knock knock, please open the door. You missed the joke delivery. <gasps> I'm gonna use that one as well. Oh, I'm gonna use that one as well. Good night, Papa Kin. We love you. Good night, Dad. Oh my god, you guys are sick in the head. You guys are sick in the head. Okay, what collab do I have next tomorrow? Shit. Is it? 
Is it Seraphie tomorrow? Is it is it with Amano Seraphie? I believe it is. I believe it is. So I'm gonna read her a waiting room. All right. We read Erin. I know we're reading my collab partner's waiting room. Get out of here. It's a cringe. I hope you guys have a very good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. What time? I think it's at my normal time. Question mark. Oh my god, Papakin says good night, best chat ever. You guys, you guys are so stupid. You guys are both so stupid. I cannot believe you two get along. Papakin, you're supposed to be like you're supposed to hold on. Papakin, you're supposed to be like the dad from from this video. Hold on. Um Hold on. You're supposed to you're supposed to be like Ah, shoot. Who was it? Who who was it that was like... Oh, no. Um... Oh, God. Chat... Yes, slatter! Um... How do I... How do I YouTube search this? Without it... Without it... <laughs> without it being about murdering... Your parents. Um... Oh, here's a remix. Yeah, the you done goofed. You done goofed. There you go. Okay, you guys, this is just Papa, here, Papa King, you're supposed to be like this. I just say that you guys have ruined my life. First I'm gonna tell you right like now. Dad. This is from her father. You bunch of lying, no good punks. And I know who it's coming That's from. That's Because I backtraced it. Jeez. And I know who's emailing and who's doing it. And you've been reported to the cyber police and the state police. You're right. So you one better one. write one more thing or screw up my computer again. You'll be arrested. You End of conversation from her father. You're right. It's yeah. fucking gonna come and beat her ass. You're and if you come near minute. my daughter, guess what? Consequences will never be the same. <laughs> you lying bunch of pricks. Shit! My house has been like this. Everybody's been posting stuff about me, okay? My, I, I am personally torn. I live in PC. <laughs> <laughs> I am torn. I am literally. I am having emotional breakdowns one after another. Papakin says, "Fuck that guy." <gasps> That's pretty rude. That's pretty rude. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ! All right, I'm in extreme. Oh, it's a cringe. Good night, Chad. Good night, Papakin. Good night, Goobers. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow at uh, an earlier time. Uh, I, I, I I don't remember if it's on my channel and her channel or just her channel. I don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow. 